Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we should be live. Welcome to Stellaris. That's right. Uh, we have a very special game ahead of us today. This is probably uh, one of the first demonstrations of Stellaris co-op ever being done. And uh, it's also going to be a competitive co-op, because they're the best kind. Today we are going to see if Stellaris is a perfectly balanced game, uh, where I'm trying to nerf myself into oblivion and simultaneously win due to the nature of this stream. Now, before we get started, first things first, hello chat, I hope you're feeling wonderful. Um, say capybara if you can actually hear me, uh, because honestly, half the time I don't even know if you, my mic's on when I start these streams, because the chat just starts spamming stuff like tea, so there's just like no way to know, so I have to pick a new arbitrary word every time we stream. Anyway. Uh, this is a sponsored stream by Paradox Interactive. Uh, they have handed me, um, I'm not sure, I think like $20,000? I, I can't remember. Um, honestly, it, it doesn't it doesn't really make much of a difference. I, I like playing Stellaris. I mean, of course, don't tell the Paradox devs that. Um, please keep paying me money. Uh, but these streams like this are great. Uh, they're a great excuse for me to sit down with my friends, uh, play a bunch of games, and, um, yeah, just have a bunch of fun. And then use the money to do something weird and special. We'll get to that. Um, it should hopefully be ready by, like, December. I'm quiet. Okay, I can increase my volume a bit. Um, let me do that. On stream elements filters. Add a filter. Bit again. Bit again. There we go. Let's, let's crank myself up, like... Two decibels, two decibels of volume should be lovely. There we go. How's that? Two decibels of volume. Ah, prepare for desyncs. It should hopefully be okay. Um, so yes, we are doing slow responsive stream. Should be good fun. The goal is very simple. I am playing. Um, I'm playing with RT game in a. In a, in a game of Stellaris against Ambiguous Amphibian and the wonderful Hazor. Now, there is one minor issue, which is that um, I have... I've played a lot of Stellaris, uh, and that's a problem. I've got about 400 hours in Stellaris. Now, that is more than all of the other players here combined and doubled. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's more than all of them combined and tripled. Oh dear. In fact, actually, I think it's quadrupled. I think combined, none of them have over 100 hours in Stellaris. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We are going to be trying to have a balanced, fun, and yet broken game of Stellaris all at the same time. It's going to be a good laugh. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun, and that's ultimately all that matters. So, who are we today? We are going to be playing as the Good Friday Space Agreement. Because, of course, RT and I are sharing this empire together. Uh, it's very important that we represent the joint Anglo-Irish relationships of the Good Friday Space Agreement, which is, of course, led by Spiff, the Grand Marshal. Um, all of the people of our empire are islanders. They're from, you know, either Ireland or... England Island, Scotland Island, Wales Island, it's all one big islander, okay? Maybe Northern Islander. Everyone's welcome, and they're all united under one rule, and that one rule is me. I am the leader. Now, me being in charge is very useful, but I needed a nerf, and seeing as the goal of today's game is to smash our opponents into the ground, that means I needed to be nerfed by having um, someone else in control of the military. So that is why... Uh, our lovely Admiral today, Minister of Defense, is going to be none other than Rumble Tumble himself. Actually, can I rumble? I don't have to be on pause for this, do I? Rumble Tumble, click OK. There we go. Rumble Tumble, the Minister of Defense. Um, he's, a, he's a trickster. Ah, that dastardly Dan. So yes, this is Dan in the form of the game. Playing as co-op, it means Dan has 50% of the vote when it comes to event decisions. 
this could be a problem. Uh, luckily, I'll be in a call with him. Hopefully, we should come to some middle ground. Anglo-Irish relationships have never been stronger. Everything will be fine. To also nerf me into the ground, pretty much everything's going to be automated. I'm going to automate all of our planets. I'm going to automate um, all of our science as well, pretty much. We're just going to focus on the actual expanding of our empire. Now, this is a tiny galaxy where, other than primitive civilizations, the only other people out there are our rivals, who are Space America Britannia, led by George the F George King George the Third and um, Emperor Washington. Uh, I think literally it is Hazor and AA, so it's American and England being combined. It's going to be very strange. What could go wrong? Who knows? Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing with Dan. Hopefully, it goes okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> if you wanted to make it difficult, couldn't you just be a vassal under RT as well for the reduced Dipl Diplo options and such? I've got to be honest, that wouldn't stop me. If I was playing this game unrestrained, you could put, in the nicest way possible, you could put all three of them in this map, the game would be over within 40 years. So, consequently, automating it as much as possible, so I'm like, an, I'm like a fun-loving AI, okay? That's how, that's how I'm going for it. A fun-loving AI who just so happens to be the greatest leader, the Sky Marshal. Um, now, I did go for a few cheeky things with our Sky Marshal, because, you know, why not? It's me. Um, I am Luminary, so I have an extra 40 years lifespan. I have, I'm giving us increased fleet command limit. I'm increasing our ship fire rate and tracking and chance to hit. We're going to get more like minerals from more jobs. And I'm blunt, which means we have less diplomatic weight and less available envoys. That doesn't matter. Yes. Can't stop Spiff. That's the thing. Meta build in a nutshell. Look, this isn't a meta build. It's, it's fine. We're not going with a meta build, hopefully. Oh, Dan will actually need to pick his uh, pick his little tray. I'm going to hazard a guess and say he's going to go for Trickster 2. Anyway, we need to meet our friends. We need to meet who we're playing with today. So I will unmute myself and they will uh, probably hop in and say hi very shortly. Uh, should be lovely. Also, thank you, Dragon Rider, for donating $10 to say Capybara and Snugglepuss for the 10 gifted memberships. That's very nice of you, Snugglepuss. Snugglepuss. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hazel. Um, Hello, how, how are you feeling today? Very well, thank you. How are you feeling today? I'm sweltering uh, because the issue yes, with doing <laughs> sponsored streams in the summer is you can't have your AC on at the same time. Yep. And okay. that means my office temperature is currently 26 degrees and climbing. But it's uh, nice and toasty. That's like a beach in yeah. Spain. That's what you want for playing Stellaris, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Dan, if you look at our home system, we have a planet called... Las Veredas, which I'm just going to quickly rename to Spiff's office. Uh, it is a molten world with <laughs> Wait, lava. Have you, have you already clicked again? Uh, no, 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 no. You can just you can just rename stuff whilst pause. So, for example, Dan, okay, if you click if you click government, you'll be able to see that our Minister of Defense is none other than Admiral Rumble Tumble. Um, oh, perfect! I'm glad I'm going to be on the front line of battle for yeah. this. I was going to let I was going to let ambiguous amphibian choose his <laughs> new skin to step into. I wasn't going yeah, to force one upon him. Woo, oh. go! Woo. Uh, it's just been decided for me. Yes. Hey, uh, you how's need it, to. How's it going, eh? Hey, oh, yes. everybody. How's it going? Oh, also, this is my intro. I just realized. Hi, everybody. I'm AA. I have a lot of issues, and I'm playing with Hazor today. Woo. Ooh. You have a lot of issues. Yeah, so you won't I mean, stop telling I, us about it. Like, that could be <laughs> any of us. We're gonna, uh, um, they're going down. Oh, then be then be <laughs> fighting Ooh. words. Ooh. Wow. You're you're nice. gonna go down greater than um, uh, Twitch's profitability margins. Uh Oh, careful Ooh. now. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube versus Twitch stuff happening. Ooh, that's true. YouTube, that's true. Twitch. Shout out to Hazel, my fellow YouTube streamer homie. Um, down yeah. with those stinky Twitch streamers. Um, yeah. Very topical. Disgusting. Very pointed. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It would be a shame if something were to happen to your terms and conditions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, I think we have 70 30 odds, maybe, under certain criteria. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ooh, yeah, okay. Stellaris uh, <laughs> is a video game in which you uh, spect. Yeah, Stellaris is a video game in which da, 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 find planets, conquer them. Um, there are no other AIs in this galaxy, by the way. It is just us. There are, however, primitive civilizations. You can do with them as you please. I would describe them as piñatas, um, but that's up Great. to your interpretation of what indigenous species are. Mm. Um, that's uh, it's your choice as to what you do with them. Um, I wish you luck. Uh, but yes, would you would you like to introduce your space empire, Hazor and AA? Uh, well, I'll let my creative director, ambiguous amphibian, take the lead on this one. Oh, we are, thank you, we are the United Kingdoms of Space America. Uh, we are led by King George III in an alternate reality where uh, George Washington star became king uh, as appointed by George III. Uh, he was cloned underground. This is years after the French dancing plague. And we now joined together uh, in the year 2137. And uh, God save uh, the president. <laughs> Ooh, <Yeah. go> us. <laughs> oh my god what a weird okay so you're a hybrid you're a hybridization of the british empire and america if they somehow found a way to peacefully coexist yes we mix coffee and tea oh we rename all of your horrible. city's new old like york nice cocktail new old yorkton <laughs> oh dear new yorvik Oh no. Um, whereabouts are you located in the galaxy? Are you like uh, right of the center or left of the center? This doesn't sound like something I would want to tell a militant, xenophobic nation. Okay, let me just pull up my phone and check the stream. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, you can't fine. stop yes, me, Hazel. Near the center. You're near the center. Yeah. Are you on the left side or the right side of the center? All right, this is too specific now. Can you I just tell us where you are? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can, north, I can north, see you're galactic galactic northwest. Number. We're exactly <laughs> where you would think we would be. Um, you're near no, the Temestra exactly Badlands. Nice. Oh, we aren't right. unpausing yet, are we? No, not yet. No, 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 no not, not just yet. Right. So your horse. that'll happen. We're, we're over on the far right of the the exact center. <laughs> Of the political spectrum. Uh, of the political oh, spectrum. No. Oh, dear. I will say, um, uh, when I was creating the our empire, I wanted our leader to kind of look like a grizzled, evil emperor version of myself. And apparently I've just created Jerry Adams. Um, we did make Jerry Adams, which is appropriate yeah, for the Good Friday Space Agreement, you know. It is appropriate. Um, yeah. Uh, now our I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it being a military dictatorship. I'm not sure how that's how I would describe <laughs> uh, the troubles in the North. But. We are, yes, the, the Good Friday Space Agreement is a xenophobic, militaristic, materialistic oh, empire no. that focuses on having a distinguished <laughs> military admiralty and has a heroic past of violence. Um, now we are united under one are rule. Right <laughs> We're united under one rule, which means we start with a very powerful legendary leader, and as the game goes on, our leader gets more and more powerful and like dictatorial. In order to make this viable, um, he has like plus, I think, a hundred and twenty years natural lifespan. And he's starting out at age 24, so hopefully he shouldn't die. Oh, he's going to be a little bit a while. Yeah, he's going to be around for the entire stream. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Zorge the Third will probably die within about 30 years. <laughs> oh, God. Has he got a, a prolific drinking habit? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is the, the setup. Um, you're going down Space America Empire. Um... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna screw you up. Any last words, Dan? Yes. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that okay. last word. No uh, problem. AA Hazel, last words. Uh, don't fire until you see the whites of their uh, tentacles. We don't okay. have tentacles. Oh. We, sure you don't. It's Jerry Adams. It's, it's not just like Jerry a, Adams. A, a cracking, More like you know? geriatric. Oh, oh, you're going down. Oh, damn. Jeez. Ooh, now we got a real beef going. We could make a real YouTuber beef. YouTube. <laughs> right. No problem with the Smith and Brick. Beef eater. Don't, don't make me unface reveal. Um, let's begin, <laughs> I guess. Uh, luck, so we're going dang. to split we'll, off we'll, into we'll, separate calls. Yeah. And we'll yeah. catch you soon. See you, See you later. Yeah, when we'll we eventually make we'll contact with each other, we'll meet back here. Discuss how we want the uh, the galaxy to be divided. Yes. Um, yeah. So see you, scrubs. Hmm. Woo, woo. Good luck, gang. Goodbye, AA.
I'm good luck, but I don't mean it. I don't mean it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him, Dan. We're going to screw him. Oh, right. So um, a few things first. Okay. As as Minister of Defense Rumble Tumble, you have started out with some traits uh, because of our right. immense heroic military background, which means you start out with a lot of experience. Um, this means you've started out as a skirmisher and a trickster, you know, like the little jester Fantastic. goblin you are. But you're also ready to level up. So would you like to... You've immediately picked skirmisher 2, I think. Yeah, let's, um, just, let's just get more of that. I'm going to select trickster 2, and I think we have just exploited the game to allow us to level you up twice simultaneously. <laughs> yes, it, it actually Ooh, has done that. So that's I'm gonna, brilliant. I can get uh, ship weapon range up. That seems... Oh my god. Yeah, just okay. Um exploit number 1 found. Thank you um for for partaking Perfect. with us today. Um Skirmisher 2. I am going to automatically set all of the research uh, because I think it would be unfair for us to kind of like weight it in one particular way. That yep. said, I am going to select our our society to immediately be planetary unification. That's all right. Um, and um, we probably want to start getting another construction ship and maybe even a science one. Yep, if you could get a construction ship and a science ship skewed up, uh, queued up, that would be wonderful. And I'm going yep. to send our... Ooh, oh, we only have enough for one initially. Probably the science. Yeah, probably the science yeah. ship is the most important. Okay. And I'm going to send out our head researcher who actually has a name open. So, Dan, I'm going to leave this one up to you. Um, Tina El Elderstein, our oh, head is, of science. Oh, this is in our government. This uh, is in I'm... our government, and she's also leading our, our research vessel. So if you want how to How do name I rename her? her? Um, you can click on her, and then you yeah. should be able to rename her. I can rename her on your behalf if you like, but if you Can you just a... rename her Twitch chat? Let's get them involved. Okay. Or just chat. Just chat. Just chat. We're, we're yeah, we're, we're cross-platform. This is just this is, stream This is the Good Friday chat. agreement. Like, you know, is it yeah, reconciling sure. everything here? You know what? Twitch, maybe your decision to shaft creators wasn't a bad idea. Maybe YouTube should should try and shaft their creators at time to time. Too, it's a bold know. move. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all on our toes. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so we should actually be ready to unpause. So that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to get the okay. game going. Um, yeah. Design strip. It's under construction. Um, we don't... Wait, do we have a construction one? We do have a construction ship already. I've set them to um, automatically build some, some stuff. Oh. I think oh, I see he's... the build in your office. Yeah, they're building my, my office currently. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I think they're currently building... Yeah, they are actually program. building a an energy factory above my office. This is my new AC unit uh, we've put in. Incredible. Um, now, we are going to need a new scientist uh, once we have a little... Once a few more months have passed and we can get a new science, uh, scientist. Yeah, we, ju we just need to get resources more than anything. We just don't have a lot. Yeah, we need that unity. That early unity is very good. Um, uh, construction complete. Yeah, he's, he's just making the rounds for all of them. Good stuff. Um, we can start some construction. No, we don't. We don't have enough resources. We don't so have no. the minerals on our we planet. Have nothing. No. no, we are. We are. We can spend some of our stuff in order to get minerals in order to build on our planet. The first thing we want to build on our planet is going to be another research lab. Um, it might not be the most optimal play, but it is very powerful because we're playing on like a, a shortened game speed. An okay. increase in early technology is huge. Oh, and already we're getting some events pop up. Um, oh, just we've already contacted, made contact with aliens, apparently. They're yes. out there. And interestingly, I've noticed the co-op thing is when a decision like that comes up, if you make the decision, Dan, that's the decision made. So how okay. do we want to deal with first contact? Do we want to be cautious or do we just want to blow them out of the sky when we meet them? Well, it's saying that I can still pick the other event option here. Well, I haven't selected one yet, so that's your choice. Oh, okay. I'm, no, I'm, it, it says you're selecting all of these. I, okay. I've, not, I've not gotten to choose any of them. Fantastic, <laughs> so lovely. Many. I get to pick some of these, and that's what I'll do. I'm going to say we blow all, <laughs> all, all alien <laughs> entities out of the sky. Um, tradition selection, Dan, what do you want? How are you feeling um, for We want game? to expand probably as rapidly as possible, so probably that's... It's probably just expansion, ain't it? You want expansion, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can. I. I think that's a good idea. The like. Okay, I, I've selected it. There we go. So um, we'll get reached the stars probably first. Yeah. Um. Actually, no. Or the new, other new one's population. better. Colonization fever. Yeah. Because yeah, you get that extra extra early pop, which is good. We need children. Yeah. We need Ooh. people. Okay. 
A science ship is still they're just away and surveying. Oh, and our second Again, science ship is now ready, so I'll, I'll get them sent out um, doing their research. Uh, okay. Just automated. Here we Construction go. ship, I think, is run out of stuff to actually build, so I'm going to start sending them over to the system where we're already surveying it. Yep, yeah, that's a very smart move, Dan. That's like a meta play. That's a very smart meta play. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank very you. proud of you. This is very good. Doing what I can. You're, you're doing such a great job. Now, we have our first planet discovered. I was hoping that this would be a planet that would be brilliant for mineral production. It has space for one mining district. So, um. That's. Okay, that's horrendous. That's so very just, bad. Um. That's I okay. Think just keep moving them about. Uh, that one's being surveyed. Yeah, the one At least on. The construction ship is here. Uh, yeah, the so one on the right them. is is okay. Um, for, for mining districts potentially. Are they on it? The construction ship? Um, no, no, I will do that manually. Uh, you just click on it and click build stop. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I thought I sent them over. Yeah, no, you, it, it's okay. He's on it now. He's on it now. He is. It's all right. Uh, I can get another construction ship if we want to get one just going the other way. We shouldn't need one just yet. We might need one in the future. Um, potentially a third okay. science ship wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um, sure, fuck yeah. it, let's go. Let's add in another one to the pile, and we can just try and rapidly expand as much as we can. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, like the more the more we're able to discover the galaxy, the more we'll be able to take control of it first. Uh, we'll be able to like smash down, smash down some of those lovely um, primitive civilizations and uplift them. Um, I'm gonna grab colonization fever because that gives us the early pop when we colonize. And then, do you want to send the colony ship to our first planet? Um, yeah, sure. Where are we? Oh, there's one in that system, is there? Yes. Okay, uh, where is the colony ship? I'm just kind of looking for them. Is that the... No, it's construction. Where's the colony ship? Um... There they it, go. You don't need to build them. If you just click on the green, the green thing above the... Adamar system. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, just colonize. <laughs> so, Dan, what you did is you built a new science ship and you just pulled the scientist off of our first science ship onto the new oh, one. Oh, no, I thought, <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that was a scientist, not in use. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. That's very funny. Um, okay, we, don't, we don't have the resources at the moment for the next colony ship. Uh, I could just start buying them from yeah. the market. I think, um, I think we, yeah, if you buy those resources off the market, that's probably a good idea. Um, Just uh, let's spend a little bit there. And now, these ones a little bit faster. Only need about 50 colonize. What do we want to call the new colony? Oh, I'll leave it up to you, Dan. I, I think you do something Irish and then I'll do something English to follow. Well, well, we have the Good Friday as our planet, so I thought this one could be Lovely Thursday. <laughs> lovely Thursday. Oh, Lovely Thursday. I love a good Lovely Thursday. They're the best. Let's, uh, let's establish our new colony there. Tell you what, I was I was very surprised by how smooth this has actually been. Um, given that this game has been out since I, I think 2016. Um, it's very, very yeah, impressive. Right, I'm going to grab our oh, wow. next um, our next scientist to go onto the science ship, yep, ROG science there. ship, that you pilfered like some kind of stealing bastard. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll move the construction ship onto the one that's been... Which one's being surveyed now? No, I'll move it on to the one that has been surveyed. It's fine. Don't worry. Uh, change sign. Does leave B for now? Leave the B for degree. now. Um, yeah. Th as you can see, if it says relatively challenging, you just leave that B. Okay. That's going to be too much. Um, yeah, you got control of the construction ship. I don't. Th can I do much with the military at the moment? I don't think they're kind of just sitting there. We basically won't be able to do much with the military for like the first. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe just... ten years or something. It's when we start seeing Any more alien resources. Threats. Now, there will be a lot of natural alien threats in the galaxy, Dan. They're going to be stuff like... Great. Um, like, I don't know, space, space whales. And you can make friends with the, the space ship. whales, or you could harvest them for their joy, uh, tasty space blubber, um, which I think is you good. like some blubber. Because it will give you experience leading your troops, and that's... Yeah, these will be the initial ready. skirmishes where we kill the space whales. Yeah. That's, uh, that's okay, that logic. sounds wonderful. I'm not going to invest in more military for now, just with our three ships, just because we just need more resources. I was just going to 
be a strain on resources. Yes, yeah, we have an anomaly. Of, speaking of that, I have just spent a bunch of our resources building a research lab on our capital. Um, That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. There's another. There's another Ooh, one. Oh, habitable here. world. Nice. Expand our border over there. Uh, the scientist. I'm gonna just. I've gone for Roma. If you go for Eye of Talent, we should be able to get both. Have you got it selected? Bam! Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, I've, I've, I've put them just on automate there. <laughs> they're, they're, they're on their way. It's fine. Uh, construction ship is not doing anything. Uh, we're going to be surveying this this one here. Mm -hmm. We want to habitat it. We'll put a colony on it, so we'll just expand to there next. Yep. Um, Leave be challenging. I think this this next planet, Algorot 2, which uh, we should be able to colonize, I will... Um, we don't really have the resources for it. Oh, God, an unknown signal. Uh, there's a natural wormhole as well. And there's a weird signal coming through it, Dan. Um, that, okay, that, that's probably not good. Yeah, they're not, not the best sign when the wormhole is making noises at you. Uh, but hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, we just leave that be. Just, just pretend it's not there. <gasps> New world claimed! There we go. New world obtained. Look at that. That was actually pretty smooth. Yeah, yeah, so that's our lovely Thursdays being colonized. Um, I'm going to... It's lovely Thursday. <laughs> lovely Thursday. I'm going to buy some alloys, and then we need some consumer goods, so I'll buy some consumer goods, and then I'll send the colony ship over to Elgrot 2. Now, this is going to be... Because it's not a continental world. One? Uh, no, it's over in Elgarot. It, because it's not a continental world, our people won't like living there because it's like a yeah, horrible environment. Yeah, that's uh, uh, there is a there is a nicer environment over here. Um, no, I'm gonna call this. We need we need the m minerals, Dan. So this is going to be the Saturday oh, suffering, okay. um, because sure, okay, th th these people's sacrifice will not be in vain. They sacrifice to work in the mine so that we may be happy. I, I mean, uh, that's all right. To be honest, so someone's got to be the fall guy for <laughs> civilization. They do, they oh, do, no. and, and we're gonna have a few billion fall guys. I won't lie. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be a brutal <laughs> regime. It'll be wonderful. It's like those shiny coins. Like, oh, we gotta send them away. Yes. Look at all of this dirt in the ground. We can use. Oh no. Ooh, signs, oh, of a signs of battle. Intriguing. That's, oh, that's actually a good one to investigate. Um, if you want to get the science ship in that system to investigate it, we might get a free military ship, which, um... um which system was that now? Uh, it is in the Hitamar system. Um, is that...? It's the one which we just annexed into our terrain. Oh, did we just get one? Wait, where? The Hitamar one. Okay, yes, so yeah, I'll send a... the scientist. I'm trying to see where the nearest scientist is. Um, I can send this one away. They're currently automated. Yeah, let's move here. Yep, good stuff. Uh, are they on their way? They are. Yeah, doing their job. Ooh. Research projects. There we go. Okay. We've got a mega structure nearby, Dan. There's a ruined mega art installation to our north. How are you? How are we finding all this so quickly? Well, Jesus. basically, our scientists have like increased sensor range, so when they hop into a system, they like ping the nearby systems. They don't survey them, but they can tell you vaguely what's inside of them. So, like, if there's a habitable planet, or if there's like um a strange installation, oh, leader pool refresh. That's fine. We don't care about I'm, that. I'm adding a construction ship to the pile, by the way, just so we can build more of the. A good idea, yeah. We get more to... in our territory because yeah, we're kind of bottlenecked by that. Construction ship is doing his best, but he can't be everywhere. Ooh, Dan hasn't cool. played this before, has he? I have actually played it before, right? I'm a little rusty. You have. I, I checked <laughs> your rusty. Steam account. You have like five hours in the game, Dan. <laughs> it's something. It's um, something. It's a good game. I so... like watching this game quite a bit. So to explain, you know, people can do more complicated <laughs> stuff than I can. To explain the setup for the stream, Dan has five hours in the game, Hazor has forty hours in the game, and Bigus Amphibian has twenty nine hours in the game, and I have four hundred. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we have we have the advantage here. We've, we've balanced the teams a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the balancing of the team was basically Dan just going, "I want to be a Spiff," and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> hey, sure, fine." <laughs> They are. Oh damn! Are they, are they are they scanning that planet properly right now? 
Um, what the uh, the graveyard expedition? The Hitamara one. Yeah. Oh, one of our science yeah, is actually it. already doing it. There we go. Um, Excellent. Yeah, so that's complete, and we can just send our send our people off. Oh, so that new scientist just got a, a level up. Um, I'm gonna select competence on them. There we go. Love and send. I'll send one over here as well. We're just gonna scout as much as we can. Good idea. Uh, there's one here that we've surveyed, but we don't have a construction ship for it. Ah, well, he's you can... building. He's. Oh yes. He's okay. Building. Wait, where are they both building? Uh, they're both building well, they're off both... to the north. I'll send the one from our capital down to deal with it because I think it's got better resources than the one to yeah. the north. Um, yeah, because this one actually has a lot on it. Yeah, it's quite a nice. Quite nice. Oh, and our first colony is almost ready, which is good because when it's ready, it'll stop um, consuming quite as many consumer goods. I have. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get some more consumer goods. Speaking of, because we can colonize another planet if we buy a lot. Ooh, go for it. Yes. Uh, basically, the more yeah. planets we can get out the sooner, the better. Um, Oh, ho, ho. Uh, do we let him work? The new cities built on lovely Thursday are a sight to behold. Through grit and determination, the colonists have managed to thrive on a new world. Islander citizens on lovely Thursday decided to show their loyalty by erecting a monument to honor Grand Marshal Spiff. Okay, I think we, think we just let him, let him Yeah, work. let him do let it. Let him work away there. Oh, that's brilliant. If we had additional... Dan, if we had additional money in the bank, we could have granted them additional funding and they could have built an even greater one. Oh, wow. But yeah, that's uh, that's nice. We don't have the funds, unfortunately, because we, we need more consumer goods, I think. We keep running <laughs> out of them. We haven't got anything for, like, spaceships yet, for, like, for the military. It's all just expansion right now. <laughs> it's fine, Dan. Everything will be fine. It'll be all right. Yeah, we actually already have, like, like a third planet's being colonized already. It's actually mm -hmm. amazing. Right, I'm this trying to see where we expand from next. For lovely Thursday, I'm gonna think I'm, I'll turn this into our like food production planet. It can be like a potato, potato world, um, so to speak, uh, because that's the one thing that brings Ireland and the UK together. Like we love chips, you guys also love chips. <laughs> yes. Um, that's actually how the Good Friday Agreement was achieved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over a, 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 a pint, of chips. pint of Guinness and a bag of chips. <laughs> Peace in our time. Finally, true peace. Alien mural, fascinating. Ooh. So we can, yeah, we can translate that. That gives us like some society experience if you want. Yeah, you don't need to. It doesn't really matter. I'm just getting the construction ships to build as many outposts as we can. We have so many territories we can get under our space. Yeah. I'm making sure they just build up in each galaxy. But I, do we get a third one? Do you think that's too much expansion? Um, a third one. Yeah. Um. Because like, cause we have a lot of survey territories that we just can't build in yet. Yeah, I, I don't think we we can really have another one. Because the issue is if we have another one, um, we're over our leader capacity. Um, and we oh, don't okay. really want to do that. So we can have six. And we're using three of our leaders to currently just, you know, manage, um, Science. manage adventures. Yeah. Oh, lovely Thursday celebrates! Every state-owned screen in the Good Friday Space Agreement suddenly interrupts its schedule to stream an official communication from Lovely Thursday. Grand Marshal Spiff stands in front of a veiled monument. Ah, oh, I will do the speech! Today we have made history. Never before has our species realized a grander achievement. With my guidance, with your hard work, no obstacles just stand in our way. Gone straight to his head. The colonists to his of, of Lovely Thursday wish to honor me and I thank them. Oh, this is brilliant. They're so happy. They're so happy. Oh. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it, yo. You deserve it. I know I do, Dan. I know I do. <laughs> right, can I rename this? I'm gonna start renaming them after all the days. The sun is now Thursday. <laughs> the sun is now Thursday. Oh God. Yeah, that's. The good sun idea. is Wednesday, sun. This is this is important. This way we'll know where our systems are. Oh, yeah. yeah, we can work out our expansion uh, now across territories, too. Yeah. Build up your defense? We don't need to build up our defense. They're not on our way. My chat's we like... also can't. Yeah, we well... can't right now. We, we don't really have much enough resources. <laughs> yeah, we're spending all of our resources on expansion, which is kind of what we should be doing. Um, like, the, the sooner we can expand, the better it is for everyone. Is, is how uh, I the, co it. the colony ship is parked. It's, it's not moving. 
Um, it is. It is moving. Um, it is zero percent. Oh, it's it's standing at the edge of space. Basically, it needs to spin up its hyperdrive to move oh, into the okay. next. Okay, yeah, location. yeah. There we go. There we go. They went. They're they're on their way to Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Another one got. You are not building anything currently, so build another outpost. You are also not building anything currently. Uh, that one's not researched. Where can you go? Uh, we can start getting these territories up to the, the north. Yeah, I'm I all think, the way back there. I think heading north is a good idea. Also, for all of these like uh, survey things that pop up, like this thing that says web work, just click leave B for now because we can come okay. back and do that later. Um, We're ignoring all of them. <laughs> yeah, if we ignore all of them, it means our like scientists research. just survey. Like, that is all they're going to do. They're just going to power survey. Okay. And that's what we want. Oh, what's going on in this system? This one's got three suns. If you got a lot of resources on this one. Yeah, maybe. this this one's pretty interesting. Um, it's got the, the ruined... Once the construction ships are done, we'll... Uh, yeah, it's got the ruined mega art installation. Um Although we are going to struggle to convince any of our population to live on an Arctic world. Um, that that does seem like a problem. That but they will live there. <laughs> they, if, if we make them, they will, they will love it. Um, yeah, They'll I'm not, get too, used to it. <laughs> not too sure how effective that's going to be, but you never know. You never know. Um, yeah, yeah i got to build up. Uh, we have a new one conquered down here in the south. I'm just going to get them constructing away. I think we've... Yeah, we're mining all the resources already here. <laughs> you just love it. We're mining everything. Uh, to screw the environment. Sure, oh, making sure it's all being pillaged and harvested. All of these lovely, beautiful natural vistas will be pillaged and absorbed into our glorious, glorious techno potato ruled empire. It all becomes Friday. You must understand. <laughs> I'm going to start um, bulldozing the sprawling slums in our planet, uh, on our capital planet. Um, yeah, that, that sounds like quite a capital idea. <laughs> Yeah, it's a splendid idea. It it gives us free population as we forcefully remove them from the slums. Great. And... So that that now they're forced to migrate to the other planets. Yes, yes. See, now you understand how we work. That's how we want to relocate them. Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. There is a Dan, there is a planet um in the Vapob sector, which is in our space, which has zero percent habitability. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a perfect mining world. Uh, it gives we, like we gotta send them there. We gotta it's got it's got molten rivers, Dan. The like They'll love it. They'll the, love it. The rivers are love it. Sort of. <laughs> oh god. Ooh, oh, seismic alarm. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. So basically, Dan, we've settled on a planet, and it turns out there's a bunch of um, people living beneath the surface of the planet. Um, That's we, unfortunate. Let me we get can, the military here. We can either coexist with them, or we can preemptively nuke the insides of the planet to kill them. Um, uh, nuking the planet seems like won't that kill everyone on the planet? It's too? on the it's on the inside of the planet, so everyone on the outside is safe because they might retaliate, Dan. Oh, thank! I'll oh, just kill them. Then. Okay, okay right, cool. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's what no we're brainer. doing. Ninety-five months, Dan, and then we'll uh, we'll blow them out of the sky. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry. Um... Sorry, I, I thought I thought there was some kind of consequence for our own people's well-being, but we don't. You know. Uh, don't worry, Dan. Versus... Actions have no consequences. You should know this by now as a politician. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Ooh, we actually have quite a nice little bottleneck. Like our entire section of the galaxy is is cut off and they have to come through like the wednesday system to get to our planets which is quite nice actually i mean you say that but we we have been expanding to the south here <laughs> yeah that's fine that'll be okay Doo -doo 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 -doo. should be all right i wonder how much they've expanded at this point in time like i wonder how they're getting on oh let me uh let me check the stream on my phone <laughs> are you gonna spy on uh, well, no, it's not spying. It's like checking in on the competition. Dan, they only have two planets. Two planets, oh, Dan. They right. haven't okay. even finished colonizing the first one. We've colonized our first three planets. We're on three, and we're already, like, got eyes on a third one. Yeah. I have noticed that they have gotten, I think, a bajillion science... Oh, are they construction ships? Yeah, they've got like twelve, like six construction ships for no reason because they haven't surveyed any system, so they're just doing nothing. Um, Do we gosh. have enough research for the uh, production one? 
for the nukes? Is that underway? That is currently yeah, underway. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. got, um, yeah. I mean, if we get any more engineering research online, which we are doing, that kind of like speeds up a bit. Um, so Wonderful. Yeah. Don't worry. Let's we'll keep an eye on our construction ships. We'll have those uh, subterraneans are... nuked in no time. Establish another outpost. There's a lot of resources on that one. Uh, you are building a mining station. Yeah. Where, where is he going? Slowly making his way. Um, that system to the south, uh, Iversen? That has a few resources. Maybe it we get, pick up that one. That one probably is worth grabbing. Yep. I, I yeah, I'll, 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 get, I'll get our man of Hagawa to go down there in a sec. Oh, actually, look at, like, Imoleto. That's got five different things. Oh, it does. Total quantity of ten resources. That, okay, yeah, I think it's worth us. Yeah, I, think that, I, I think quantity over quality is and, absolutely what we want. And and that's the that's the section of the galaxy which is open up to us from the hyperlane. So it's the kind of direction we want to expand towards, which makes okay. the most sense. Yeah, so I, I've got a guy in Hagawa, and then he'll, I'll expand out to there next. Mm -hmm. um, that's perfect. Mining station is almost complete. He's now finished, so I'm going to get him. Uh, we can... Do, I, do we want to pick up Yarak along the way? Um, claim it? No. Um, we will grab it later, but for the moment, it it basically has... Um, yeah, like, it's it's not worth it for just, like, a future mineral of, of Zero. We can eventually use that, but for the moment, yeah, no. Actually, I'm going to move this guy... Oh, no, I've, I've already sent him. <gasps> like, oh, great news, Dan. We've almost, like... As soon as we're done nuking the subterraneans, we're going to be able to start building robots, and then we can send robots to the planets with no habitability. Fantastic! Oh, so the robots can just work those ones. Oh, yeah. great! So they'll, they'll live on these like hellscapes, yes. I mean, they will need some humans there to like oversee them. We don't want them rebelling or okay. anything. Do, do you want me to send the the sacrificial lamb to Vapob the second with its oh lamb? Oh my god! I mean. You know Do what? You Preemptively, just... fuck it, Dan. Do it. Yeah, let's just go for it. Just get in there. Yeah. This is like from a from uh, an objective. This is gonna be hellish oh Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. No, it's got to be illiterate, Dan. Actually, no, it doesn't have to be. Oh, factions! Yay! Lovely. Um, factions but... of it. Okay, hellish Tuesday is currently being settled. Perfect. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got some. We've got some factions. Uh, the Island Unity Party. Uh, the Patriotic Vanguard and the Institute of Technologists. Although we can we can rename all of these actually. Um, in fact, I'm going to rename the Patriotic Vanguard to like um, Drift Drift Kings um, because effectively Thank they're you. the military faction. Um, Thank you. Uh, we will we will get more military ships eventually too. We're we're just kind of stockpiling our alloys more than anything. Yeah, yeah. The more the more like we need as many of them as we can possibly get. Yeah, it is very useful. Very useful indeed. We're surveying a lot that's quite far away. Ooh, our first encounter with alien life. Um, Bet menace. Yeah. I, who knows Bet what they says are. Hello. We can uh, we can send some envoys to kind of like investigate. Um, so I'll send our envoy to go say hello to them. Um, okay, uh, this guy, I'm gonna just immediately, actually, wait, automate this system first, harvest everything, and then we'll expand him to Imoleto. Uh, I still kind of wish we had another construction ship, but we don't have any commanders, do we? Nope, or not at the moment. Grip. Not at the moment. It's a shame, yeah, because we could be, ex we could be expanding much oh, faster. Oh, we can have another construction ship, we just can't have another science ship. Um, oh, per okay, perfect, I'm, ge I'm getting yeah. it right now. Yep. Yeah. Add that in. There's no cap on construction. Okay. Yeah, you can have I as many free construction. Free is going to be plenty. Yeah, free should be plenty. You can have as many as you like, but they do consume energy. Uh, I think. Yeah. I think. So I, think we... I think three should be good because that means you can expand like three different ways here. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can just expand all the way over to. Them. <laughs> I mean. Ideally, in like a in in a shocking twist of fate, yeah, like they've hardly built up their empire, and then just we've conquered half the map, um, would be would be the greatest situation. Oh, the colony ship is on its way to Hellish Tuesday as well. Oh God, I feel so sorry for them. For them, they're gonna have such a horrible time. Oh okay, let dear. Let me uh, rename the sun. This is Tuesday. Oh, also dear. known as Texas. Um. 
<laughs> Texas, Texas Tuesday. Uh oh. Uh, Texas Tuesday in hell, apparently. It's just very hot. What I understand. <laughs> Yeah, so we met some aliens, Fill and because it happened in our capital system, I think they're like the peaceful traders. I could be wrong. Um, so they're they're not people who we have to kill yet. The key word is yet. Yet. Okay, I'm going to build another star base just to get that one on the fringe of Roscan. Just Very pick that nice. up while we're here. Yeah, I'm doing my... No system there, is there? Um... Whereabouts? There's there's three stars that are grayed out, but like right on the cusp of Roscan. Might be able to get them soon if we send a science ship that way. Oh, the that. Um, so basically, uh, we can't access those until we go down a very complicated event quest line. Is going to be my guess. What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, what is happening? Um, we've encountered the Vleur. They're an extremely powerful subspace entity. Um, Vleur seeks, Vleur finds. They will interfere with. Ship systems, oh dear. And we okay, also found uh, a pre-sapien species. This the, sounds like it's time for more military funding. <laughs> the Vlur are currently like heading towards one of our science ships, but it appears to just be a, a big weird void cloud that we don't need to worry about, hopefully. Um, but where are these pre- <gasps> Where's the pre-sentient? Shit, we've also- Failed tunnel. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Failed we're, we're, tunnel. Discover we're discovering a lot right now. Yeah. Uh, where is this one? You need to build out somewhere else. Okay, right. So we found the Shroud Tunnel next to some interspace traders, an, an alien space station, basically, that we can trade with. Um, what I want to find is where we located these primitives. Um, just for no real reason. Uh, which, which would just be <laughs> useful. Do, 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 do. I'm sure we lose a ship? Um, oh, no, we didn't. We didn't. It in. It's just a, just a lot uh, to scroll through. I'm gonna gonna hide our planet's view for a bit. Oh, we've encountered a enemy science ship. I think. Yes, we have. Okay, we have actually encountered them. We've encountered them. Dan. Wait, the lads. The there. lads. They are. Uh, well, we don't know for 100 percent certainty if it's them, but they're over in the S w okay. W system. Okay, I think it's time that we start investing in the military at least to a slight degree. We so, only have three ships at the moment. Speaking of that, we can also pick our first Ascension perk. Um, would you like, say, maybe like Technological Ascendancy for increased research speed? That one's quite useful. Um, Imperial Progressive, which gives us more leader capacity, so we could maybe get more like admirals or scientists. And I think we're so far ahead of them in terms of research at this point. You we don't think so that's much. needed. Okay. Um, maybe like... No, I, I, I think maybe we just go all in. And oh, like just all in. Completely eclipse them. But yeah, sure. Imperial prerogative it is. Away we go. Oh, wait. No, you said science. Beans. Yes, yeah, I... Fuck. I chose the wrong it's one. Too late now. It's fine. Don't okay, worry. That's a great policy. <laughs> yes. What? The... <laughs> I signed the, signed the wrong papers. Oh, God. I mean, it was objectively the best choice, Dad. I'm so sorry. That's all right. That's oh. all right. Right, how is the nuking of that uh, planet going? Subterranean Menace, we are 40 months away. Um, okay, we're going to need more alloys because we're going to need to start investing in military. Uh, I need us to get to at least 10 ships, I'd say. I want us to yeah. get... Yeah, I'm going to be using... a little. A, above average Wednesday, I'm going to be using as like an energy and uh, alloys and consumer goods production system is going to be my logic. Okay. I think that'll be a nice one to have. Yeah. Um, it's a construction ship that needs work. Uh, you can only ever automate him so he works on the planet he's in. Uh, what one do what one do we like the looks of? What are we claiming. Uh, do we have in, someone going to Imoleta? We don't. We okay, don't. That's yet. your job. I take Imoleta and then I I head up to Chox immediately and up to Eswig. Basically, we want to cut them off from as much of the galaxy as possible. Oh, and we've yeah. met some traders. Um, they're a shroud coven. We don't need any of that. We can just say goodbye. Um, they're just a bunch of overpriced. It's fine, yeah. just, don't worry about it. Yeah. Overpriced weirdos offering us glimpses into potential futures and beyond. Um, I, we still want to hold back and invest in more military at the moment because I know we want to increase our production yeah. rates. Yeah. Tuesday is settled on. We probably want to uh, 
get the robots in here? Uh, it's so basically the the colony. It's the habitability value <laughs> <is> zero. <laughs> yeah, this means anyone living on the planet hates their existence and they need more amenities to live there. But it doesn't matter because we'll we'll phase them out for some robots and. Okay. All right. It's still it's still actually. Uh, under colonization, so it'll be a bit before we get the robots in. Perfect. That's all right, but we're getting there. We. Okay. How's our construction ships? They got a long way to go. Where, where are you heading? Oh, this guy for some reason insisted on building the mining station. He's like swapped places with another ship. <laughs> It yeah. didn't want anyone else to do it. Sometimes, um, the, right. sometimes they get a little bit funky, the AI. Okay, so what's it? Chocks? Is that the next one we want it? Yeah, we want Imoletto, and then we want Chocks, and then up to, up north, basically. Up, up north. we okay. got to head north. So I've got one on Imoletto. He's going to build the station. I'm going to just get the other one in position quickly so we can get Chocks. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to move him over there. Good well, stuff. They're, they're faffing about, we presume. Ooh, council moving. agenda ready. Nice. So we can I'll launch this agenda. This makes all of our pops happier and um, we get a unifying promise situation um, so that we move. Oh, great. Live in metal. All planetary features of Tuesday the 3rd are removed and we've added living metal. This is actually amazing. Like, that's a very powerful thing to get. Incredible. We now have robots. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That's very powerful. It's moving so quick. Um, I'm also going... Okay, so for our next council agenda, do we want... Um, do we want to expand the council, evolve our society, progressive growth so we can build robots faster, or basically make ourselves more xenophobic and say we're strong on our own? Um, which gives us more pop growth speed so our humans grow faster. Well, we need robots, not people. Okay, so progressive growth is what we'll work towards. Um, no, we, we're, we're like eclipsing humanity at the moment, you know, so like we got to like push that and champion that. Yeah, we so do. chat GPT is just the beginning. It was just it was just the beginning guys. Oh God. Oh God. So many anomalies. Yeah. Just leave them be. We need, we need to research. <laughs> it's fine. We don't need them. Yeah, there, there is another potentially uh, habitable planet on Beer Zone, but I don't think it even has that many resources, does it not? Um, Do we want it. We could send the robots there. Uh, whereabouts is this? Beer Zone. It's like near Tuesday. Ooh. Um, I've got to be honest, Dan. Like that planet is, it's terrible. Um. <laughs> okay. That said, maybe if we run out of planets to expand to, yes. Okay. Yes. Just um, keep that. We'll expand to like Imoleto and Chucks and like Nihal. <laughs> Yeah, that would we'll, definitely we'll be like, in particular. yeah, that would be one of the worst decisions we could make. I'm not saying we're not going to make it, but for the time being, hopefully not. Hopefully okay, I'm, not. I'm expanding out to uh, Chox now and then Nihal, so we're gonna get them. Good. We stuff already there. have Imoleto. Oh. Just, just cherry pick the good ones. Look, actually, at the amount of resources on Ashike, it's got twelve uh, oh. for minerals. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. We want that one. Jeez. Yeah, we probably want that one too. So we want to, and it's just been surveyed as well. So we yeah. Can start, yeah, we can start expanding that way very quickly. Do I? Do we get another construction ship? I think it's probably worth it at this point. Yeah, yeah. let's get, go. Get a, get a fourth one. A fourth one. I will say I'm pleasantly surprised by the fact that literally within ten seconds into this game, we immediately found a level up exploit with the co-op system. I'm very happy with that. Very on brand. Um, oh, the political frontier. Uh, do we want the increased chance of of people? Okay, people hate hellish hellish frontier so much. We can uh, say that we're just going to bolster the security. Uh, it's going to make them even more unhappy, but add stability to a horrible planet, which I think is a great idea. Sure, yeah, make, make them unhappy. Lovely. Um, I they, mean, they it, don't understand our one thousand year vision. Look, or, you know, if, this, if this the Good Friday Empire. Agreement taught us anything, it's that if there's strife and suffering, you just send in more more police. Oh, <laughs> Nothing geez. will go wrong. Oh God. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, oh, I've got some good news. Uh, we can steal some of the um we can try and steal some of uh aa and hazel's species and interrogate them 
uh, which could give us an advantage. So that's what I'm going to go for. We're yeah, going no, to try and military for that them. still. We, we still have no military. <laughs> it's okay. We we don't need military yet because like they they are their military is going to be pathetic. Let's be real. It's going to be terrible at the moment. But, but so is ours. <laughs> yeah, but theirs will be even worse. <laughs> okay. We'll get there soon, though. Oh, we can also pick our the... we can pick our next tradition. Do you want to go down discovery, which would give us tech advantages, or do you want to start going down like um, I don't know, supremacy, which would give us military advantages? Military. We want military. Okay, supremacy. It is. This unlocks the military build-up agenda, which we could eventually do. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh god. Oh, we can also start a fear campaign. I love the sound of that. Um, oh, that that sounds wonderful. That's exactly what we want. <laughs> uh, it it increases uh, monthly unity and attraction to xenophobia. Um, oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, I don't know how I feel about that one. You were the one who was like, "Yeah, fear campaign." I Woo. didn't realize what I was signing up for, right? What were you expecting? Oh, I've got good news. Uh, we destroyed the subterranean aliens, and that means we've opened up more room to expand underground. Um, Amazing. Yay. So that's that dealt with. Um, yeah, lovely Thursday is now peaceful. Peaceful and happy. Oh, wow. Um, if you look at the features of the planet, it has corpse-filled mining sites and corpse-filled caverns. <laughs> Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. That's, a, that's exactly what we want. <sighs> just just build, build a new power plant right next to all of these bodies lying so, around. Question. Yes. I'm, I'm struggling to find space to expand to. It's not letting me build uh, stations anymore. Ah, um, for, we for can't, what We reason? can't go up to Eswick because there's, there's an alien species there already. We can't, can we? What? No. What? No, so, so, someone else has actually moved in there, unfortunately. That Nihal construction is underway in a moment. Someone else has moved in there. Oh, okay. Annoying. I can't I can't see them on my screen, but let me quickly deselect you. Can I move you in? Oh, oh, the reason we can't do it, Dan, is because we're lacking influence, that's why. Not because oh, we've... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we just need some more influence. Um, okay. Which we, we only increase influence production? Uh, we get it from power projection, which is basically like just having a more intimidating empire. Um, is there anything we can build on Hellish Tuesday at the moment to give us influence? Um, no, there's nothing really we can build at, okay. at this stage of the game to increase influence. But we are... Jay. We're probably almost ready to start... Oh, there we go. Robot assembly plants are getting constructed on Hellish Tuesday, and then I'm going to start building the mining dist districts. Um, um, I'm going to start question, we could either interrogate aliens or vivisect them? Vivisect them, Dan! Vivisect! Okay, Look yeah, at them! We can see them! The That's we them! Yeah, we know who it is now. We just, uh, <laughs> That's what the Americans look like, Dan. Yes. We found them. Good. Good, 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 good. I'll also build um, some robot assembly plants on um, on uh, Saturday Suffering, I think is another good good location for robots to be built. Um, yeah, they'll, they'll help Wonderful. pump out resources. Gosh, this is actually going very good. Very, very, very good. Yeah, we still got a few a selection of planets here that we can still get. We're going to try and get uh, Drewgrad next because it seems to be the best one. Oh, that we is can't, nice we can't go north anymore. Um, we Ooh. might be able to go north up to the right. Dan, it, those people we knew, we found their treasury chamber and we looted it for all of their money. That's amazing. Excellent. Underneath lovely Thursday. <laughs> there we go. We've we've encountered them. Right. Um, we should we should go and interact with them and then work out what selection we're going to make. Whether we um, we threaten them or we give them like a dismissive dismissive uh opening. we're gonna hop on call with them again yeah yeah let's hop on call with them yeah we can we can, we can recap a bit and see how they're getting on too yeah let's uh let's see you there call. in a moment we're, we're initiating communications here here we go opening up opening up the call relay with them they might just not return our calls they might not be interested <laughs> well, so that would be very american of them very american 
Um, we don't we don't negotiate with terrorists <laughs> or, or Americans. Uh, hello, AA. Where are your weapons of mass destruction? We only have weapons of ass destruction. No, <laughs> Ben, don't. Okay. Uh, but, um, <laughs> welcome, uh, welcome, AA, um, and hopefully Hazor eventually when he realizes that he was called. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, firstly, welcome. It's nice to meet you, Space America. How how are you doing? How are you doing? Hello. Uh, our uh, um. It's going we going come well. in, Don't we say come anything. in peace. We come, we come in peace, and everything is fine. And a, you know what happened shame. to the guy who got kidnapped and vivisected? Yeah, um, we suspect we, something. Uh, I'd be worried. That we wasn't us. Sure who they were, so we just cut into their no, stomach shh, and kind of Dan, Dan, it wasn't. It wasn't us. It was someone else. Some other aliens came along. They looked a bit shifty. They said they were from space, Florida. Um, they told us this information later, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they told us this after the fact. Wait, um, Jim, sus, sus. No, Several no. things are wrong with your story. There's no. no space Florida here. Not today, sir. We have only Florida sheer. Florida sheer. Oh, God. Tell us what you did with our man. You did our man. Uh, um, Unacceptable. I'm just, look, he was he was tasty. That's all I'll say about, about that wow. man. Wow. Oh, wow. It's very tasty. If you didn't want us to vivisect him, why did you ah. make your make your bodies out of food? Checkmate. Oh, well, you know what we made our bodies out of? You know what we gold. made our bodies out of? Mm -hmm. Mixed up coffee and tea. Eh, disgusting. How could oh, you? Oh, now it's disgusting. Now that you know what it is, it's disgusting. Ugh. Horrible bodies. Jeez. Um, yeah, we just wanted to say, basically, respect our authority or else we hate you and we will kill you. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely oh, day. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, is we anything... dislike you very much, you and your strange space finger that is reaching out <laughs> closer to probably... It's in it's in Nihau, Nihau, which is the yeah, really, really good, good, really good system. I'm very yeah. jealous of Nihau. How oh, dare you sacrifice one of our people to science? Not to I science. Mean, cuisine. The cuisine science. Our, our lovely Gordon Ramsay, he, he had a field day. Science. Why is yeah. your name the Good Friday Space Agreement? I don't understand this. Oh, um, the Irish, the UK it's the together. Irish and the UK agreement. <laughs> <It's> a, oh, <laughs> unacceptable. <laughs> if you, if unacceptable. you are to attack us, you are to effectively kickstart the troubles. Um, yeah, so, so don't do that. You don't, don't want do to that. be that person, right? <laughs> you don't want to be responsible for that. Yeah. That's uh yeah that's that's bad PR. Anyway, um we're going to reach out and we're going to we're going to surround you. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to extend yeah. the finger of of violence to you. Yeah, At least we'll get a good I colonoscopy out of it though. That really does look like a huge space finger reaching out toward the Yeah. I right, we got to unite our empire. Hang on. Um hang up. Don't let them hear us. <laughs> See you later, nerds. Get out of it. Have a good Friday. Good Friday. Oh, good stuff, Dan. Uh, we okay, really, so we really showed them. That'll, they'll feel yeah. bad about that. Um, right, I'll unpause the game. I've noticed we have more leader cap for scientists at the moment. So, Dan, get another science ship out there. Uh, yes, on it right away. Oh my God! And we got a look, bunch of society research and intel on their empire. Yes. Wonderful. That was really good. That vivisection was the greatest vivisection. And we just found even more money in the underground Precious. alien empire. It's going amazingly well. Like, your decision to... Cool. Yeah, your decision to nuke them was brilliant. Um, Dan, I have noticed an issue, though. Their empire, what they have... I, I think we'll, we'll declare them a rival. Um, actually, first, we will insult nah, them. Now we won't. Uh, you, you don't want to declare them a rival? Oh, actually, wait. No, this is the precursor for war, is it? Uh, no, this is just upsetting them. Um, and yeah, I, upset them then. Okay. I think it gives us it gives us some advantages to um, uh, to being a rival. Actually, we can't even be a rival. So, there is one issue. Clicking on them says that they have an overwhelming military in comparison to ours. So. Okay, so now is the time we invest those those alloys into our military fleet. Yes. It uh, is. Fleet manager. PC for now. I can just instantly buy ten more ships. Um. Yes. Go for it. Go for it. Your your military budget has been expanded. You can buy ten more ships. Add them to your to your fleet. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of corvettes them. coming. 
And then also upgrade your fleet so that they have the latest cutting edge technology so that Perfect. we can slice their organs up. <gasps> Damn, there's a relic world. Oh. We just keep finding good shit. Uh, to the north of to the north of uh, Sheik, that system with twelve minerals is Etscarion, which has a relic world on. If we can get the relic world, that is going to be so powerful, Dan. Like relic worlds are horrifically, they're like some of the best systems in the game. Um, we can't no make question. food on them, but they're brilliant. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, I can build an outpost there. Yeah, I'm just we're running a bit low on outpost capacity still. Yeah, it's our, it's our influence, to... which is, yeah, which is setting us back. We still um, need more influence, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we just gained some influence. Oh, um, perfect. Because <laughs> we're exceptional individuals. Thanks, um, our talent as renowned leaders has given us, yeah, that influence. And what wow. A stroke of luck. We, we finished off those subterraneans using nerve gas, Dan, and that's given us more space to build on, on lovely Thursday. We oh really God. just killed the inside of that planet. It's fine, Dan. They didn't need it. Oh, no. Okay, we have so many construction ships. Now, some of them are starting to run out. Can I dismiss a few of them just to save on resources? Yes, if you want. It doesn't save us too many resources, but it's it's worth doing anyway. Um, just for okay, fun. so I'll, let me disband a fleet here. There we go. And then just go down to three. Yep, three should be good. Now make sure to try and expand up uh, north. We want our star bases heading north. We haven't been able we haven't been able to get that one planet yet. Well, it's just because you're it's just because you're spending the influence on the other systems, Dan. I've got to be honest. Um, okay, well hang on, let me, let me get it now. <laughs> like the most important thing is that we go up that pathway north and start heading left. Uh, so I shouldn't be capping this one that gives us six energy credits. No, it's nice, but it, it's not as important okay, as the other. That's others. a real shame because construction's underway there. But yeah, you can keep learned. no you. Can can keep that going that's fine it, you know it's one I'll for move the, the other construction ship up just for future use if we can get uh the is it dengar dongar uh, um that might yes be a good one. dongar that's is got, definitely a good one dongar is a nice one we like dongar that's that's got a few yeah i'm gonna hang on let me see so where where are you going Ooh. encounter enemy fleet oh these are angry space whales which we've located that's fine we can leave them be that's all right. How's the the fleet recruitment going? We're up to. It's going good. We're gonna have thirteen ships soon. I can. I, mean, I want to just max this out eventually, but we just need more alloys. Yeah, we do. What I'm gonna do, Dan, is I'm going to switch our unifying promise to new technologies, which is going to give us plus ten percent science output from researchers. Um, it's either that, or we can go for like mining station output. But I I think we're doing good for minerals. So yeah, yeah. we have we have plenty of minerals. We, we just need alloys. We need production. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Yeah, and I gotta stop sending people the wrong bloody way. <laughs> <laughs> they're just in the wrong star bases. Like, we're starting to get them on the move now. They're, they're starting to go north. Ooh. Ooh, who uh, is this? A renowned oh, paragon. Here. Yeah, a renowned paragon um, says basically says they want to join us um they are a plundering warlord perfect that their goals align with ours enlist your yeah what a great idea join the army unleash me on those who oppose you and i will show them true carnage general giazavad joins our empire he's <laughs> welcome he's, aboard <laughs> he doesn't look that similar to us dan but he he's got a good good vibe to him yeah, I, I, I like I like his attitude. You know, I'm excited to see. <laughs> He's a butcher, a kidnapper, and a plunderer. Uh, That's everything we want. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of person we want on the ground leading well, our if troops. If I create a new fleet, do I put him in charge of it now? Uh, no, he's he's actually for ground armies, so we don't need to worry about that for a little while yet. Um, okay. That's for when we need to do planetary invasions. Um, it's yeah. all right. Science ship is not doing a lot of science right now. Not a lot of science. Let me just get him on the move again. He's moving somewhere. Construction ship. What are you, what are you doing? Get construction ship, get building. Uh, you need to go up here. Okay. Building, building, moving the build. Uh, ooh, fender bender. Nice, lovely. Earthquakes, Earthquakes on lovely on Thursday. Oh, not again. <laughs> not again. No. 
It seems that some deeper parts of the underground tunnel network has collapsed without the subterranean aliens to maintain it. Many of our settlements have suffered damage. No! That's that's quite unfortunate. The consequences of our actions, Dan! Oh <laughs> no, we shouldn't have hollowed out the planet. It's fine, it doesn't matter, Dan. Their corpses will be used to re-cement the walls. Oh, we've had quite... We have a new policy for supremacy. What would we, what would we feel? I'm going to go for... Speed? I'm going to go for fleet logistics, which basically means that... um. Our, our ships are cheaper and we can have a greater naval capacity, which means you can ultimately have a bigger fleet. Um, I'm also going to upgrade all 13 of our ships uh, as that's... Yeah, just fire away there. Yeah. Like, we're, we're just waiting on more alloys. It's like the bottleneck at the moment. Nice. We could we could set up a big monthly trade order. We have a lot of credits. We do, actually. Um... Yeah, we could just get more alloys in. How, how much are we thinking? If we buy alloy... Is that plus 19? If we could just double that? How much would that cost? Uh, I f the issue with mon monthly trades is they can get very costly very quickly. It's better kind of just to manually do it, I find. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we could, I can just start buying more <laughs> if we want them. Yeah. I think that's probably but it's like in idea. stacks of 250. Just add more to the pile. Get some more soon. First contact at the event, lovely. Construction. Leave it be. They're forever insistent that we research something here with our scientists, and like we've just no interest. Yeah, they're like, hey, we've discovered the anomaly. It's the fountain of new youth, and we're like, no. No, uh, it's no. Not me. Keep finding new lands for us to colonize, and then we'll deal with fountain of youth technology. Ah. Uh. I mean, we we already live uh, for, like as leaders for many many years, so it doesn't matter. I mean, Jer Jerry Adams is still looking pretty healthy, considering how old he actually is. Like, you know, the man, man's pretty active. Jerry Adams is uh, Jerry Jerry Spiff Adams. Um, oh my goodness, the committee of the True Gospel is founded. Amazing. Um, they they support spiritualist and conservative values. Lovely. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh god. Are we the baddies. Oh no. <laughs> Again, they're getting a worrying sense of uh, some of our policies or an on the galaxy. Here. To be fair, they're definitely the minority of our empire because we don't like we, we're not spiritualist. Um, so I mean, we could actually just suppress this faction into the ground. Um, that seems healthy. Let's um, let's suppress them. Does that cost me anything? I don't think it does. Yeah, it's okay. Let's expand it so much. We actually have so much territory. Question is, what if they expand to the south? Oh, they're uh, not doing that, are they? They're not doing that quite as fast as we are, anyway. Uh, yeah, we can, yeah. we can expand faster than they can. Don't worry. Um, can we colonize another planet to, to try and increase some of our production? Literally, the next, the next planet we want to colonize is going to be um, Ed's Carry On. Yeah, that's like the only real good one, so to speak. Um, okay, uh, I'm almost there now. We're we're moving them up. Okay, uh, these guys are done as well. I think they're done. Automatic construction. Yep. So move yourself over here. You guys have two. Yeah. Not everyone. Okay, well, let's just let's just leave them be. Communications established with someone. Uh, this is Survey. with it's with the space whales. Basically, we've we've learned of what the space whales are. They're they're placid, friendly leviathans. Um, we still hate them. Now I'm going to send our our envoy to um, oh distress signal. Um, we can just ignore him. <laughs> um, stream chat expects that locating its source will prove difficult. It may already be too late to help. Yeah, ignore the signal. I think that's what chat would want to do. Um, yeah, just ignore him. Ignore him. Leave him. Leave him to die. I'm going to send our envoy Not to our problem. to you build a understand. to build a spy network with against the Americans. Okay. Um, the United Kingdoms um, of Space America. Oh. Oh wait, no, we have spies. I thought they had spies with us. No, we have not. we have spies against them. Yeah. Okay, I I'm going to start training the first colony because we are actually almost at the place now. Nice, lovely. Oh, I can't just yet. No, we're lacking a bit of. Okay, let me just buy that cheekily. Uh, then shipyard colony ship. Let's get it. Recruit it. They're going to be on their way to the new world. Very far in the north.
Okay, we, we have Etzger on. So we, we got it in the end. This is so much in terms of resources. Right, I've created a, uh, a separate robot, which is a mining robot. Um, oh, perfect. And basically, it's just going to mine more efficiently. And they have no rights. Great. They have no rights. They're, they're robots, Dan. They love, they love serving us. They, like, come up to you. They're like, would sir desire Wonderful. more fish and chips? And we're like, yes. More fish and chips with my giant plate of caviar and cheeky Nando's. <laughs> That's exactly what we want. Oh, we have that system now, Dan. Send the colony ship to Estgarion. It's on its way. Hang on. Where where is it? Uh, it's it's up up to the north, up to the north. No, where's 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 the ship? Um, do I just get caught colonize on the new place and they'll just kind of do it that way? Yeah. Where is it? It's fine. Wait, where where is it? Colonize. Okay, name our colony. Um. So many pop-ups at the moment. I know, sorry. Wait, actually, I, I, I already recruited the colony. Did you already recruit the colony? No, we don't have a colony ship lying around, Dan. There's one in construction. Oh, there's one in construction. Okay, so you've already done oh, it. i just wait for them That's to finish, yeah. Yeah, they'll finish that off, no problem. Um... All right. I think we're getting to the point now where we're getting more alloy production, too, so we might be able to just like, ramp up our military again. We want yeah. it to be as healthy as possible. Yeah, the colony, the colony ship's on its way. Yep, okay, you're right. I'll reinforce the fleet up to 20 ships. <laughs> Wonderful. I just saw them. I'll come in. Your budget has been increased, Dan. Um, and then I think the next system we want to maybe colon... Uh, well, not colonize, but like take control of is Yazum. You'll see it to like the left of um, where we're setting up our new colony. And basically, this is where we're going to build like a big defensive station, and that's going to be our choke point, stopping people um, heading into us. Yeah. Colony ship, your goal. Oh, apparently we were meant Here. to accept that distress signal because it was going to give us a huge buff to me, the leader. Oops. <laughs> That's all right. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, it's fine, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're already, we're already doing quite well. If we look at the enemy, our enemy, they have an equivalent fleet size to us, inferior technology, and an inferior economy. We can see that they Wonderful. have two planets still. They're Actually, suffering on all fronts. Yes. In comparison yes. to us. I will um, insult them again. Um, we, we, we gotta, we gotta, do you wanna, we're not having on call again yet. Oh, we? no, no. I just I just sent them okay. an insult. It's fine. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> all right. No, that's, that's all good. Then. <laughs> yes. You're just, hey, you suck. You suck. Email. I hate you. Like, why do I even answer these messages? <laughs> just like, can't we just turn it off, guys? No, it's like a Twitch employee in your chat. You can't stop them. Oh, God, Lord. <laughs> oh, dear. Grinding uh, your teeth. Ooh, okay. Make preparations for the salvage in the mineral vans. Yeah, we, we nice. get more stuff. More stuff is more good. The colony ship is on its way. Uh, I, I sent a guy down to Dongar just to conquer it before that our neighbor does there. A good idea. Because they're living down there and it has good resources. Yep, splendid um, idea. He's building... Where where are you? What are you doing? Are you do you're doing nothing? <gasps> How could you? Hang on. You're not doing anything at the moment. Okay, where where are we sending you? Uh, there's no. Give it be. I can. Do we want to go up to Pildram? Where do we want to expand next? Um. I mean, honestly. Uh, yeah, let's try, let's try Pildrum. Pildrum's oak, oh god, it's actually quite rough. You know what, let's try, um, let's try that potentially habitable planet in S week. Um, and just... Where's that? That's the red one, kind of like halfway between our new colony and the old world. Um, I think that's a good idea. And then we've also actually got some colonizable planets to our, like, um... Okay, uh, so do you want me to, I'll, I'll get another colony then. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm going to just start establishing there. a route up the Pildram anyway, just so we can get some of those territories. Lovely. Lovely just in case stuff. there's anything good there. Lovely. Okay, construction ships are all on the way. The colony ship is a ways out. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll get another colony just in production. Yes. That's that's what we like. Eventually, we'll get another like starbase set up over there, so it'll be fast for us to get a colony ship out. Um, which will be quite useful. But yeah, this is going incredibly well. Oh. 
We could try um, and expand south. There's actually quite a few territories here that look like they've been untouched. Yeah, the, like these territories to the south are really nice as well. Um, like I have the guy in Dongar, so I can send him out in a moment. There's potentially a really good like resource planet in Deferis, in in the Deferis system. Like that's got improved minerals okay, and all right, electricity. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the call. And yeah. I'm gonna get us another construction ship again. And uh, okay, right? We built one. We deleted it. We decided we didn't need it. We get it back. Away we go again. More now. That's we fine. can get because our, our rate of influence is increasing from plus two to plus three. Oh, it has. Yeah, it has. And a lot of our planets are also upgrading and improving, which is nice. Our only ship is on the way. Remember about your sum. Wait, have we not colonized your sum? Um. We have. People are saying that we forgot in my chat. They're freaking out. Oh, uh, Bazan. Yes, actually, we can do that. It's near Tuesday Suffering Land. It's this weird I alpine world with, with low gravity. So it's like, it's a terrible system, but we might as well. <laughs> there's, there's no consequences. Okay, hang on. So let me... I'm trying to work out where all the ships are. Okay, so he's going to be... He's already started work up there. This guy's at work down here. So you... Go build that one next. Okay. Don't worry, it's sorted. We'll have that one next and we can fortify that. And yeah, that prevents an entry point there. Yeah. You summon a choke point, you close it off your land that way. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really good call. Mm -hmm. That's my logic. Okay. Uh, the colonists are still on their way. <laughs> Taking a long time to make it through the galaxy. Yeah, they've probably been out there for like over a year at this point, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, a new colony ship has just been established, so where are we... Eskew, is it? Uh, yeah, Eswiuk, and then we'll go for Burzun. I, like, it's it's normally madness to colonize planets with low habitability, but we've kind of managed it. Like, Hellish Tuesday, for some reason, is actually working out very well. In the weirdest way possible. <laughs> Alice Tuesday is doing great. People here love Tuesdays. Ooh, our stream chat has reached veteran level, which means we can either make them a researcher, an analyst, or an explorer. Oh, yeah, you're moving up in the government chat. Yeah. Um, researcher would great. just generally give them give us more research speed, or do we want... Um, yeah, I think we, we want increased research speed from them, really. Well, because uh, we've completely eclipsed them in terms of tech. So let's, yeah. let's make sure they never catch up with us. Double down and crush them into the floor. Like, they, they don't stand a chance. Yes. Okay, I just realized the extra construction ship was probably a mistake because we still don't have enough influence. So I'm probably going to dismiss <laughs> it again. It's, it's, it's going fine, Dan. Don't worry. Uh, whoops. Didn't mean to make oh, you. <laughs> scared of him. Okay, building the mine. Uh, your sum is on its way. It's being taken over. So there's a lot of anomalies coming up. <laughs> oh, boy. We have an idle leader? Uh, yes, that is our... Um, that's our boy, who is the barbarian, who we're going to put in charge of our ground forces when we eventually need ground forces. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to send another insult to them. Would you like to hear what our insult is? Yes, what is it? Can you tell us more about that silly religion you're so fond of in the United K Kingdoms of Space, America? We could use a good laugh. All right, I've sent it to them. <laughs> it's so... It's just so unnecessarily mean. What do you mean it's unnecessarily mean? We hate them, Dan. We hate them. Yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna start expanding south in a moment. Uh, they seem to be going up the north like quite a bit. They the only plants that seem Dalphine and a mutant seem like the only ones they could really go for. But I think we could probably cut them off and get them first. Yeah, if I think if we were able to take out like, yeah, if we actually are able to cut them off there, that would be really good. Like really, really good. Um, There's a guy building the mining station. Um, I'll get I'll get a guy up there in a moment. I'm gonna wait for him to finish his mining station. Right, I'm building a uh, a starbase in Yusum. Um, 
So as to look at that. Look at that. The forward. Look at the forward settle they just did in oh, Harabas. Look at that. Cheeky buggers. Oh, wow, they, they've really come up there. That's not even yeah. connected to their other territories. Yeah, they that's... know about this choke point. Should I position the military over here? Yeah, I'd, I'd put the military next to it just to like send the message. To... Yeah. Let's, Actually, let's put them over on you some. Yeah. They uh, they need to know who's boss in this this side of space, this side of the space world. We have 20 ships at the moment. That's looking pretty good. Um, we still don't have enough alloys for like a second military or anything like that. I am noticing that we're starting to lose food though. What's going on there? That's fine. I've, I've the planet that is going to be producing food. I just need to flesh out a little bit more. I'm okay. giving them some amenities and things like that um, that should make them happier. Okay, should should be all right. Yeah. I'm gonna move this guy down here. Where's this guy going? Building their mine station. Oh my goodness! I, uh, uh, donations. Wait, oh Thank wait, you for the colony donations. ship is here. How do I? How do I? How do I get the car? So I just have the ship separate. Do I just? Um. Oh, you you set colonized? it in separately. Yeah. Just right click on the uh, the planet and hit colonize. Uh, that's the right one. Yeah. Hang on. Is it Veseron Five? Yeah. Yes. Uh, wait, where? Colonize? Perfect. And it's uh, be Mighty Mondays. Dan, I think you sent the wrong ship to do it. Let me do it. <laughs> wait, did I? No, yeah, it's you did. Did. It's here, but you've you've decided to build a new ship in order to colonize it. It's fine. Don't oh, worry. Oh no! Okay, I hang think. on. All right. It's okay. Wait. So we now have a new ship in. Uh, I oh, this is with Eswick. Okay. No, right. yeah, that's that's the other one. That's the other one. That's I, the I other think one. we got it right. All right, we'll I, colonize. I, did, I didn't completely muck it up. Yep, I've colonized them both. They're gonna need new names, but I'll let you handle that. Um, okay, I'll, I'll I'll get on it now. Yeah. Right on the planet where we just sent people to suffer and die. They're feeling a little bit upset, um, but that's okay. Um, we can declare martial law on the planet. Oh, consumer goods shortage. Let me quickly fix that. Do -do 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 -do. Right. Mighty Monday has been established. It's being colonized. That's perfect. Um, yeah, and they're they're here as well. Colonizing planet. Uh, this will be silly Sunday. <laughs> silly Sunday. Who doesn't love a good silly Sunday? We love a, we, we like a nice silly Sunday. All right, rename the sun just a Sunday. Is that renamed? Um, no, because oh, the wrong one. Hang on. Okay, there's just there's just several Sundays now in Sunday. Lovely. That's that won't get confusing at all. Um, no, no, it won't. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right. So our new star base is built. I'm going to give it a um. Oh. I'll give it a shipyard so we can build some ships with it. And I'll I'm also... going to push on to the south a little bit to get some of these planets that have just been sitting here. Yep. You know, actually, I'll give it two shipyards. That way we'll be able to build ships very quickly if needed. And then... Um... Okay, they have linked their planets now to this one that was on its own. Hmm. That's fine. We're still there. We're still there, and we're able to provide a nice fret, which is a good idea. Uh, there's a science ship who's just given up. Oh, Grand Leader Spiff is about to level up. Are you able to get ready to select one of those options? Yes. Hang on. Oh, government. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to select um, unwavering Wait, so I, so aggressor. I, I... Can you select deep connections for increased influence? Okay. And we time this, do we? Uh, just click it, and then get ready to click OK. Okay. So it's clicked. Okay, and then hover over okay. Three, yep. two, one, go. Got it. Lovely. Did, did it work? Um, I, I, yes, it did. It did, Dan, it did. Wonderful. It worked. Perfectly balanced. Perfect. Perfectly balanced. We're actually exploiting this. It's fine. They never said we weren't allowed to. Ooh, scientific breakthrough. Science is the key to a better, brighter future. Amazing. Grand Marshal Spiff awards medals of merit to scientists, and that's made them feel better. Um, You'd love to see it. <laughs> I'm going to probably click... I don't know. We could go for Expand the Council. That could give us... Um, 
more um more more like modifiers because i'll okay yeah i think that's a decent idea that that'll be our next agenda that's all good our empire has really expanded it really has it's going well though uh we still need more military we still need a lot more military i'm not i'm not happy with the amount we've only got here it's only 40 ships at the moment yeah yep you're definitely right um, Planet-wide machinery. Oh, yes. So great. This, fantastic. That's We found a second relic world off in the space. Oh, we, that's a good one. We, we want to stop them from getting to that. harvest that. I can pick... Um, oh, veteran level reach for Rumble Tumble. <gasps> okay, myself. Dan. Uh, what trait... Uh, what veteran level are you going to go for? Are you going to go for strategist or tactician or aggressor? Select one of them and I'll pick a different one. Um... I'll go for aggressor. Okay, I'll go for uh, tactician. Right, three, okay. two, one, click. I think he got them both. I have no idea. <laughs> they might have I'm like over. This. Yes, it's fine, Dan. He's just really good at his job. He's just really good at what he does. Now, if you had, because you can co-op with up to five people, it would be possible to get like all of the trait picks every time they level up. <laughs> Amazing. <sighs> My goodness. All right, so our fleet's over near um, this new space station, so I'll get them upgrading. Where are you going? Where's our construction? You're working. You're on your way. Where are you trying to get to? You're supposed to be going down here or something. Low stockpile. It's okay. It's just consumer goods. We're uh, we're getting that try. Well, trying to get that Min sorted minus out. Minus twenty nine currently. <laughs> It's a little bad. It's fine. We don't need that. It'll be okay. Um, let's go for overwhelming force. God, our military is going to be so goddamn good, Dan. It's going to be so good. They're, they're, it says their fleet's equivalent. It's not. Theirs is going to be terrible. Um, yeah. Building. We're taking over Dalfen. Uh, I'm trying to get the low because I actually have straight alloy uh, available if we actually capture it, which seems really valuable. So yeah. We just expand our military even faster. Yeah, more alloys is, is just more nice, really. Whoa. And this guy... Don't really have enough for him to go anywhere. Build up that one. Well, there we go. Mighty Monday has been colonized. Um, it is a Wonderful. glorious sector. We're going to need to give it a leader, potentially. Ah, it doesn't need one at the moment. That's fine. Uh, we should just pop someone in. Well, we maybe. don't... We, it, we Our leaders are busy doing other things at the moment. So, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm That'll gonna, be all right. I'm going to build a robot assembly plant on there straight away so we can get our population booming. Yeah. The, the, so, the, on low here, there's three planets that you can settle on. Now, none of them are good. Yes. But we could do it. <laughs> Yeah, um, I've got to be honest, Dan. All of those planets are kind of terrible. Oh, no, yeah, they're, they're, they're tomb worlds, okay. They're, like, they are... Arctic world. They're not even, like, big. They, like... Alpine world is actually horrible. <laughs> that, sound, that one doesn't sound as bad. Yeah, but it's an alpine world with low gravity, Dan. So our people are, like, awkwardly having to be tethered to the ground everywhere they go. Yeah, that, that is a little bit unfortunate, yeah. It's unfortunate indeed. <laughs> okay, um, well. If I can get out here next. Wait, oh no, they're, wait, they're gonna, they're trying to forward settle us. I see them. Are they doing it? Oh, dear. They're if going for it. If they've already they, started they... the construction, we can't beat them to it. They've put I the ship they in the. Are, yeah. They've put the ship in the system, but it hasn't started yet, Dan. So get it in. Get. Uh, we've got ISS India is going in. We might be able to get it first. Come on, like, India. I've sent it in. He, he's moving. If we could snipe the system from them. Go go come go! On, come on, come on! Oh, this is pay. Oh, they've sent in a. They haven't surveyed it, Dan. They haven't surveyed it yet. Great. Oh yes, we've got it, Dan. We've got it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We don't have enough for a star base though, do we? Um Wait, did, did did you did you assign the construction already? Yes, I did, I did, don't worry. I did. I already assigned it, so it's all sorted. 
Okay. Uh, do we want to kill the Tianki or displace the Gravekeeper without harming them? Uh, let's go for kill, kill, kill. kill. Let's go kill. <laughs> let's go kill. That's what when in at. doubt, murder is the answer. Like God forbid you try and like talk to each other and understand. Like violence is key. If you have problems, fear campaign, murder them. That's how it works. Oh, we got it. We pushed them out. We pushed okay, them out. Now, oh, I want to see if we can get to the next one with the yeah. alloys. So I'm just going to send them right on out. Military dissidents on good... F what? Uprooting oh, the military smearing dissidents. smearing your name. Reports of low-ranking military officers actively smearing the name of Grand Marshal Spiff. It's going to go unpunished. Yes, because this is currently giving us minus 20% ship fire rate. So that definitely needs to be fixed. Um... That's just unacceptable. Uproot the dissident officers. This one ship keeps going, like, so far to the north and, like, veering away. Like, I actually want to keep him down here so we can expand south eventually. Because we're going to reach an end point with the north soon where we... Sorry, as we can expand. Yeah. We got something for that. Cool. I need you... I'm, I'm just hovering over build a star base. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting this one. We need one point of influence. Single influence. Just one crumb of influence, please. Please, please let just me influence you. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so um... if we get, get low, so that's six alloys, so that's going to be insane. That's really going to increase our production. God, there's so many relic worlds in this galaxy as well. Mm. <sighs> yes, chat is uh, spamming that they sent heretics uh, in our military ranks, which is causing these issues. Gosh, what if the event fires and I have to purge you, Dan? I... That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's just not going to happen. Look, I've, I've got the military. I'm That's just true. saying, That's right? That's true. Uh, yeah, we can we can come to some sort of agreement, I'm sure. Yeah, become yeah. some kind of coup here, right? Yeah. Evade and hostile fleet? Are they uh, the Ooh, what is this? Oh, our, um, our, our evil general is, is a stylish trendsetter who we're going to support. So we get increased monthly unity for 10 years for no reason. Uh, this one gives us influence if we dispose of people. Yep, I let's go for just, it. Yep, just yeah, get rid it. of them. We go mushroom picking. We're getting some mushrooms. Okay, uh, I'm going to take this one as well because this one's a good choke point. It's just good resources, ain't it? It is, yeah. Um, so where do we want to go to the south? Do we want to go down to Deteris? Uh, I, here, yeah. I think Deferis is the uh, the best best system for us to take a hold of, yeah. Okay, we're going to make our way over there. Dissidents arrested. Plus 10% happiness. Everyone is happy now. Yes. Okay, we, de we still need way more military, though. This is, this is not good enough. We only have 20 ships. All right, well, I'm going to... Uh, issue the war games tradition uh, which is going to increase our f admiral leader cost and up upkeep so yep you're cheaper um, and more powerful great you're a very powerful boy but I'm actually going to upgrade all of your ships again oh wait you... I can get I can get destroyer class ships should we get those <gasps> Ooh, yeah do you want to do you want to add a few more into um into yeah, yeah let's add some start invest just it, all in the same fleet yeah Yep, just keep. We're just gonna have one big blob, and that's gonna be our fleet. And it's gonna okay. go around. And it's gonna stop. So this is gonna cost two thousand an alloy. Uh, yeah. Um, don't worry. The industrial worlds will have it covered in no time. I'm sure. Okay. All right. Just make. Uh, just make it sure. You know. Oh God. Build that one up. And you are building too. Yeah, consumer goods are about to plummet, Spiff. What are we about to do? It's fine. We we just keep buying them off of the market. I will say consumer goods have gotten very Question. expensive. Um, we only have 800 credits left as well. It's okay. I'm dumping some of our minerals. Uh, we, we have a lot of minerals. Um, okay, all right. Uh... I will begin the construction of some civilian industries to get more consumer goods going. 
God. It's fine, Dan. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. It'll I be hope okay. so. I really do, because we don't have a lot of consumer goods left. Like, the people with the mad iPhones, you know, are running out. <laughs> Where are our iPhones? We <laughs> demand to look at Grand Marshal Spiff. We must witness him. They're running out of valuable electronics. Uh, Nintendo Switches. <laughs> where's, my, where's my Switch? Where's... The people are pissed. By the way, I did a poll in my chat to see who would win um, the game, and 85% of them said we would. Um... Great. Oh, I got a negative trait. I'm volatile. Oh, no. Wait, you became volatile. Oh, my goodness. Um, Love labors lost. Oh. We can get monthly unity and pop happiness for five years. That's a good idea. I'll make everyone happy. But the influence. It No, but this is... Yeah, it... it for, it's apparently further evidence of the superiority of our race, Dan. Okay. Right. <laughs> don't I'll look into it. the don't look into the potential dark messaging of that at all. I'll allow um, it. All right, the um, the relic world should be good for building um, consumer goods. So uh, that's what I'm gonna try and. Just keeping an eye on towards. what our engineers are up to. Alloy production has increased dramatically. Oh, wow. I think uh, we have not harvested... Have we not harvested one of them? No, he, he just finished harvesting it. Okay, that's what it is. Building a research station. Can we do a poll that who do we think will win? Um, I don't think it matters to it on our end as well. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah you could do one. You can do a uh, you can do a gamble, right? The mod gamble thing, right? Uh, I, d I don't know if we should be encouraging gambling again. <laughs> it was a disaster last time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We don't, don't talk know, about the uh, yes. I mean, you're the only streamer to like have a terrible experience with gambling without being paid to do so. So, um, good I'd job. Repeatedly, <laughs> Endless, endlessly bad experiences. Multiple bad experiences. <laughs> That's so what we, uh, prize ourselves on. Oh. Keep an eye on these construction ships. I can go up and get Tier, which might just be nice for just keeping them away further. Yeah, honestly, that's like a, a decent, um, a decent system to actually have. Resources. Yeah, that's just worth having. Um, like, it's, it's a, it's a decent planet. We can colonize that, no problem. It it does um, open up our borders with them a little bit more, but that's okay. Ideally, if we were able to take the Clendaff system, we would be able to um, set up another choke point with them. But that's Which just one? a theory. The uh, Clendaff. Yeah, um, I think they're going for that at the moment, so we can see if we can just quickly get to it. Okay, yeah. so consumer goods are gone. Consumer goods are Oh, let me quickly just buy some more. Um, they are right. now zero. Uh, new ascension perk available. Uh, we could go for. Um, what, what would help us with consumer goods? Uh, one vision, pop amenities usage. No, that doesn't help with consumer goods. Uh, monthly unity, uh, government ethics attraction. Uh, uh, um, we we consumer goods, the crisis is looming. Uh, technological ascendancy, because that just gives us research speed and hopefully that will lead us to a path which will let us sure, we'll have more consumer goods. We will science, science, our way science out. it out, okay? It'll be fine. Um, I'm just buying buying a few more months worth of consumer goods. Uh, everything will be okay. Ooh. Okay, so there's a hostile fleet in Clendash. If I send the military up there, maybe I can get rid of them? Yes, and I think that's a good idea because it'll also give you some experience um, leading the fleet. Uh, so yeah, Do I, I would... just send them in? Yep, just send the fleet up and they'll go, okay, they'll they're, go smash They're on their way. It's going to take them a while. Oh, Clendafu Starship Troopers reference? It is indeed. Um, although it's actually just called Clendaf. Uh, we do want a science ship nearby. So, um, where is our Pick nearest science ship that isn't preoccupied? Okay, they're doing archaeological sites currently. Um, Why don't you change some of your laws? Some of our laws? Um, a suggestion. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, let me go and take a look at our our society. Um, government policies and edicts. Here we go. Um, uh, society management, is it? 
uh, e economic policy. So, do we want to produce more consumer goods than alloys temporarily? Where, where, where are you looking at, Mel? Oh, uh, this is in the policy section. If you take a look at government. Government. Actually, oh yeah, I see it. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. So if we if we quite if, a few. Yeah, there's quite a few. Don't worry. You don't need to look through them. Um, I'm going to go and say that we're going to switch to a temporarily civilian economy. This lowers the amount of alloys we produce but increases the amount of consumer goods we produce so i think temporarily that's a good idea and we can always I, change I, it back after 10 years I've, I've just noticed that slavery is now is currently allowed slavery has always been uh, allowed dan um, yeah it's been allowed a while i guess with the robots yeah just, it's just not a good image you know but I mean, we can prohibit them but that just makes them more expensive no, dan no 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 that's not gonna ahead of ourselves that's now. the spirit hang on Alternatively, we could go for like a recycling campaign that decreases our pop consumer good usage, but it does cost us like um, energy to do each month. Ah, let's give it a try. Okay, I, I pressed active Wait, and we'll the see. They're on their way. See how effective uh, it is. I can just take some more spots down here. We're just expanding south a little bit just to get some few more stars in. Okay, I tried a recycling initiative, Dan. It was a terrible idea. We ran out of money instantly. Um, oh. So we're, oh, never, no. we're never doing that again. Okay, no, no, um, no. We can't, can't afford to recycle. Yep. Yeah. Screw recycling. single-use plastic. Get the old policy back in. In the good old days, that's all we needed. Yes. Those plastics. Houses will be insulated with nothing but asbestos. As it should be. <laughs> In the good old days, we learned to chew on our asbestos without crying. Uh, we could try and make contact with the aliens that are here mm. instead of just attacking them. Um, which ones? The ones in like... Uh... Dash. Dash. Um, we could do that, Dan, but killing them is good. Yeah, true. We have 20 ships, that can be enough. They only have a military fleet power of 217, Dan. You've got oh. 2,000. Oh, that is significantly higher. Okay. Yes. That is a fair point. <laughs> you should be A-OK. -okay. And we have we have a forward shipyard I can see as well in your sum. Um, should I make a second fleet? Um No, we, could. we should be okay. We should no, we should be fine with just one fleet. Because okay. we'd need an additional admiral and at the moment, our fleet is definitely more than powerful. More than okay, powerful. Um, Let's see the combat. Shall I start getting some destroyers? I want to get five. Well, watch the combat, Dan. Look, you just blew up that mining drone. You smashed it. Oh, wait, hang on. I was... We did oh, it, Dan. It's already over. It's already over, Dan. You smashed them. Oh, you blink and you miss it. They, um, they did 35 damage to our shields, which was enough to do no damage to any of our ships, basically, because they immediately regenerated the shield damage. Um, which is very nice. That's now, honestly, amazing. I we could probably do with sending. But us... we we can't take it over because there is someone on this at the moment. Well, it, it's more we haven't surveyed the system yet, so we could temporarily pull oh, okay. one of our scientists away from an archaeological dig and send them up there, which is what I think I should probably do. Yeah, I'm going to send one of ours up and just have them survey it. Okay. I'm gonna just keep expanding construction in the south in the meanwhile. Yep. And I'll just automate you for the time being. Oh, God, no. If I automate him, he goes all the way to the other end of the world. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just gonna sleep a while. I can. They have a can system. Automate you. Yeah, they have a star you. base and a system called Andrew Jackson. And um, a sponge star round body. Stargrid Thatcher. They've got Stargrid Thatcher for goodness sake. The the Why arch the nemesis. Heck? The arch nemesis of the Good Friday Space Agreement. Uh, I'm gonna keep our fleet deployed here because they actually seem to be looking to expand in our territory. Yeah, I think this is a good like uh this is a good way of like um making them never send in a construction ship. I uh, I'm going to get some destroyers. A good idea. Uh for our next um Tradition tree. I'm thinking prosperity, maybe, because that I think lowers consumer goods. Yeah, lowers upkeep from jobs. Or is statecraft a good idea? No, that's not needed. 
Um, Stop going oh, no, Thatcher's back. <laughs> the chat's having a very violent reaction. I'm sorry, gang. Thatcher's I know it's back. very upsetting. Space Thatcher's back, back, back. Space Thatcher is here. Um, oh, is adaptability better? Does that lower the amount of okay. costume? How do I merge my fleet with the other one? Because the Dave Dow now I'll just. Oh, you just uh, get them into the same system, drag over them, and there should be a merge button. Okay. I went with prosperity. Prosperity uh, should be more We are in a critical research. Uh, that's fine. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Pretend it's not there. Just imagine you have the My iPhones. Files are low. Uh, look, Dan. Cancel agenda is available. I've, I've increased the production of consumer goods, better than all previous attempts. I will say the main reason why we hardly have any consumer goods, is largely because we chose to settle on planets with no habitability. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> but it's fine. It's okay. We haven't found any more that are like more habitable, have we? Not particularly, no. I'm gonna gonna get them some fighting words here. Um. Oh. Isn't battle wreckage always timed? Yep, battle wreckage is timed, so um we've got like 1,000 days to review the battle wreckage in the system where Dan did his fight. Which is quite exciting. So we now have the better Rose Belt next to their Theodore Rose Belt. <laughs> that'll, learn, that'll learn him. That'll, that'll scare him. My goodness, our fleets are actually... We're up to 3k fleet power, Dan. Jeez. Their star yeah, I mean, bases... All the destroyers are just adding a lot. Their star base is only 1k power as well. We could, like, probably beat that. Uh, I'm going to send them an insult. Um, Mad uh, more destroyers to the pile. More destroyers. We have to have 20 destroyers. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, should I send the military back from Kenda? Uh, here. Yes, yeah, we might as well. Yeah, we might as well. I'll, se I'll send them back to the better rose belt. Probably the best point for it. Okay. Um, was there ever a science ship on the way up to the... Uh, yes, there is a science ship there in Clendaf currently researching, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, okay, because uh, I'm I'm now going to immediately just slip in and pick it up. Cause we, I have an engineer that's been sitting on standby. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, you got him assigned. Uh, what's wrong with this science ship? Oh, the, uh, the Yun... Oh, uh, which one? One down south. Oh, uh, I think it got stumped, basically, by enemies. Um, and that's why. Uh, Alright, get him on the move again. I've got some good news. Uh, we're about to ha reach the end of our, our unifying promise, which is our, like, starting bonus in ten days' time. I don't know what benefit we're gonna get from this, but I imagine it's gonna be a good one. Here we go! Promise delivered! Positive media coverage. Oh for yeah! Five years. Plus ten percent happiness. The people are happy. The people are happy to stars and to victory. It's a glorious Friday. Yes. Okay. Uh, we've almost got our goal of twenty destroyers. The Assum <laughs> Station. Uh, Dan, I have noticed that on the victory screen, which tells you the score breakdown, um, we have more than double the score of uh, of Space America. Great. <laughs> oh, where where, where is that? Uh, that is... Um, if you click Situation Log, which is the top one, just above Government, and then move over from the Situation Log to Victory. Uh, basically... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, we don't know their... Their, like... Yeah, Our it ain't looking and good. Technology is so advanced. We are just so much better, Dan. We are just built different. Built so different. Okay, I'm gonna so converge the fleet soon, so we'll have twenty destroyers and twenty corvettes. So we'll have a forty a fleet that's forty strong with four thousand power. Oh my god. I mean That's pretty good. How long Can we, we make it three times their score though? That's the real question. Uh, okay, we're almost at the two-hour mark. Do you, should you say at the two-hour mark we should just declare war? I can't 
kind of want to just see how much of like their system we could destroy with our fleet. But if we do that, though, what if we just max out our military with 70 ships? I, we don't need to. Oh, actually, we could do, though. We could do what if it's fun. just would all, is all destroyers better? Will that just make it so like we just like um, destroyers, knife through butter them? It, it kind of depends. Destroyers are a fair bit tankier, but um, it is kind of like each each to your own. Uh, I'll merge the. Uh, are two things now together? They're almost together. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. The the um, the consumer goods situation is getting better. We are down to now only a loss of twelve consumer goods per month. So. That's pretty good. I'm getting better, Dan. It only took a little while. He's on his way to there for some reason. This guy doesn't want to do anything. I'm trying to see where we expanded next. I, I realized as well, building all these bases, I can use an alloy, which is why it's taking so long to get ships, because we keep expanding. <laughs> yep. Um, but that's fine. Oh, what is oh. this? What lies ahead? Do we... Uh... Despite Grand Marshal Smith's work, there is still much work to be done. The Empire consists of conflicting factions. Population is united only for the constant effort of the Grand Marshal. Although the Grand Marshal did not wish to change the post-unification government, a new, more direct approach could remedy some of these problems. On the other hand, such a decision could maintain... Okay, so I could... I could proclaim Imperial rule or maintain the status quo. Do we go down the path of tyranny, Dan? Yes. <laughs> Proclaim Imperial Rule! Yes, we do! Proclaim! Yay! <laughs> um, brilliant. We have a new air. The Imperial Good Friday Agreement. We have... We all know. What should our air be? Um, and I've now become Emperor Spiff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the Emperor! <laughs> oh my god! Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, we're gonna have a problem when you die. Just a smidge, just a smidge. It'll be okay. Um, How do I merge these fleets again? Um, oh, Imperial Proclamation, Dan. Do we want... Uh, we, we need the consumer Do we want to goods. become a titan of industry or... Okay. Or, we need the consumer goods. I agree, okay. We need the consumer goods. <laughs> we need them. There's no debate. Yeah, there is no debate. We've been losing consumer goods the entire game. Fine, you're correct. You're correct. Ooh, we found some survivors of that subterranean species. Let's wipe them out again. We can put them out of their misery or bring them to the surface to serve us, Dan. Oh, well, actually, that that's mis misery and productive results. Slaves! Woo! <laughs> oh, stream chat just got arrested development. Rip. Um, less experience for them. Oh, dear. Okay, he's on his way to build. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, this guy... No, where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, what planet down in the south do we want next? There's so many here. Um... What you feeling? Uh, Deferis, have you already sent a colony ship to Deferis? Or is that... No, happening? I didn't realize that was something we wanted. Uh, yes, I would recommend doing that currently. Okay, should I settle Flestia as well? Um, the buffer. Whereabouts is that located? Wait, we can build a continental world, but the colony ship. Oh, we get to choose which one we want. Oh, we'll just go with the first one. Yeah, go with the first one. The the second one is the subterranean uh, slave species that we've now created. Um, so, uh, what do we want our Saturday to be? We've already had silly Sunday. Um, I mean, I I created a suffering Saturday, so you could make a you could make a slapdash Saturday, maybe, or a um, supreme Saturday. We'll go. Well, no, we have to loop around, so it's an even better Friday. <laughs> even better Friday. Wow. We must loop around. You know That's what, important. Dan? They said it couldn't be done, but the consumer goods crisis. Is slowly coming to an end. Oh, it's only minus four. My god, I never thought I'd see the day. The day has come. Profitability. Um, yes, good, Dan, good. Um, what other resources do we want? I'm trying to just look. We still have like an engineer ship that's like just not doing anything. I've got another planet that we're just going to take. Do you yep. want to just take Orvale? 
Um, it's not really, there's a habitable planet there. Yeah, we might as well. Yeah, just keep keep baffing out them colonies, Dan. Keep doing it. Well, people are saying sultry Sunday, maybe. Ooh. Servitor Saturday. Sadism Saturday. That's kinky. Jesus. Mm. You've tuned into Sadism Saturday. <laughs> Sadism Saturday. I don't like it. Prepare for some light slap and tickle. Oh my God. Uh, there's Pat Tragor in the south. I'm gonna try and make my way down there as well. Uh, construction ship. Very interesting. <laughs> I like how when you get these pop-ups, you're just like, "Yep, fuck off. I'm done with you." <laughs> Wait, there's a neutral fleet here. Hang Ooh. on. I can't. I can't take or, or veil this. Oh, we haven't surveyed it. Yeah, we, we haven't. Surveying it. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, I'm sending the science ship up. Right, I upgraded the fleet so then up to 4.6k strength. I'm going to spend some alloys reinforcing it some more Dan, which I think is another destroyer being added to the tally. Wonderful. Um, let us have a quick check in on them. Dan, they are inferior in all regards. Great, that's absolutely what we want. They have no leg up on us. I will... Um... <laughs> Consumer goods is at plus 44 as well. We've turned it back Ooh, around. Oh, look at me. Look at me go. Um, Someone wants to join us. Oh, this is the uh, this is the same man, uh, our, our rampaging general. We, we can say, teach us about war, and he'll give us increased ship weapons damage, which is actually very good. That seems good, yeah. All right, let's go. Very We're nice. We're up to 42 ships. Um, can we Whoa. make it even more? I, I, could, I, I spy another cheeky destroyer just being slipped into the ranks. Yeah, I, I sorry, I, I recruited a few more just because I was like, why not? What could possibly go wrong? We want the maximum amount, and then we just annihilate them. Yes. You know, maybe I should build a... Um, on this factory world, maybe I should build a... Uh, an alloy... alloy foundry just pumping out some more. Or do we just... Yeah, go for it. Let's go for it. Yes. He's on his way to take this one. Build that up. That's fine. More alloy factories would be good because that's more ships. I'm upgrading all of our scientists so that they they stop consuming exotic gases, but they just produce way more science, which is um, even more powerful. Like our science Excellent. output, Dan, is getting very, very good. I, I, are they going to be able to catch up with us? At this, st I, I think we've just snowballed so far ahead. Dan, I, I mean, they, they control four planets. At the last estimation, we control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Wait, well, now we're no longer double their score, though. Are we no longer double their score? No, they've caught up. <gasps> I think we should, God. we should, if we can gear up the military now and kick them while they're down. Let me, um, yeah, we can. I think we can make claims on their systems. I'm going to make yeah, claims to Theodore Roosevelt and <laughs> the Edin Theodore Roosevelt. They best renamed it. Roosevelt. And uh, I'll also claim Edinburgh King. Oh, they're calling us. Are they calling us? Okay. They're calling us. Hang on. Let's join. Hello, hello. How's it going, gang? How hey, dare gamers. How dare you? I would you? like you to explain the better Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Unacceptable. Roosevelt. Better? I don't know what to tell you. It, it just is. It's just naturally superior. superior system. I think you should take another look at the better Roosevelt and its neighboring galaxy system area. Well, well I, we, we see it. We um, see it. It and actually looks atrocious. With the do you want to know our response? Award. Our response, A.A.? Eh? Oh, it's also actually an Irish name because Odor. The Odor. Well, if it's an Irish name, then that means we have a claim on the system, which is exactly what I've be, just made. Claim. No, thank you. No. That was all oh, the decisions-making we needed. Right. You can, Whoa. You find you out Operation Steel no. Technology too. <laughs> this is not good. How could you figure out, based on our name, that Operation Steel Technology was designed to steal your technology? I'm afraid we're too good for your tricks. <laughs> no. Prepare for war. About operation. <laughs> We're going to be this taking over end. Theo Bestor Roosevelt. Oh, yeah, damn you! More, uh, destroyers. You know. you. I, we will see who is the best Roosevelt. Yes. Uh, we need it's to reposition clear, our fleet. Unfortunately. I have 
rather bad news on that front. Uh, <laughs> let's, you know what? We can unpause and we can see how this war goes. Uh, we're going to... Dan, would you like to do the honours of moving our fleet of 44 ships into Theo Bestor Roosevelt? Yeah, sure. So, let me just pop no, them down. How no, dare no, you claim all the days of the week for your systems? Friday. <laughs> we claimed it also like okay. the next week. We're building up to a fortnight. Oh, oh Jesus. I know that game. Oh, fortnight. That's my favourite game. Okay, uh, so we have now... <laughs> No. Instigated our control. No. Wait, it's no. Roosevelt. Oh my gosh, um, that station is made of paper. Oh no, please. Oh, dear. No. Um, and it's ours now. Dan, update from the battle. You may have won the battle, but the war is, isn't yet over. Um, uh, I mean, we only claim two systems, AA. It's this and Edinburgh are king, so now we just we need don't to even need no. that. Actually, we, we don't no, even need that. We're trying to get, get rid of the Irish to, to begin. We want to just invade again. Uh, what? Invade up north? Yeah. No, no, not Andrew Amazon Jackson. Prime. Have, have another planet next to the best or Roosevelt. Oh, Andrew Jackson. Yeah, let's take out Andrew Jackson. Um, no, not Andrew. Anything but that. We didn't Andrew lose Jack a single Moon. ship. Yeah. Andrew Jack has any of them. <laughs> There's literally no consequences for us doing this. Uh, none of our ships died. Hey, hey, we have an army moving in. We have our armies are moving in. Armies? Uh, I'm going to go make another oh, one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I say armies as if that's plural. Wait, oh, they, where no. are they gone? Uh, uh, wait, that's not the right are, army to are taking one. over their uh, their mining station currently. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, no. they, they, they've taken that. Now. Amazon is now Oh, ours. no, not Amazon Prime. <laughs> Amazon Prime um, has yeah, fallen. So Amazon is gone. We're on our way to Andrew All of Jackson, all of your too. gift subs, all of your Prime subs are ours now. AA. I'm sorry. Oh, we'll be taking that oh, seventy thirty no. revenue split. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew yeah, I shouldn't be streaming this on Twitch. Oh no. gosh. Oh look, Dan. Oh, Dan, their fleet. Look at their fleet. Please. The shamed oh, Armada. Power. <laughs> what have you been doing this entire time? Uh, uh, mainly we... naming planets. <laughs> I've That's noticed. A shame. Well, thanks for naming them for us, you know. We don't have to rename these ones now. Oh my gosh. Mm. Um, um, well, ancient drones. Oh, you'll never overcome the ancient drones in our system, which we were unable to fight. <laughs> the indigenous peoples. Well, you're currently fighting them and losing to them. You you've just lost your fleet no, to mining drones. I didn't want to do that, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, in the that system to the north the of us, they just lost their, their entire military. Can we claim that system to the north as well? Uh, it's it's unoccupied space, so there's not oh, much reason it. to. Um, you can't claim it because we already haven't. Uh, we need to actually survey these new planets that we now control. <laughs> yes. Oh, I mean, what we could do is we could just declare that we've achieved our war goals um, and send them an offer for peace. Or if you want to pursue deeper, Dan, we can do. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to go deeper. You know what, Dan? You're in charge of the military. You lead it off. I'm going to recruit that barbarian general who we had and uh, send him to the front. <laughs> I dare you. I dare you to come manifest the queen over here. At wait, our wait, well, I'm planet. going in where the hostile fleets are with the Eastern Menace. Should I be doing that, Smith? Hang on. Um, yeah, you can do. It's fine. It'll be okay. There's, there's no other path through here. Actually, yes. what we can do, we could go back around. Oh, do we want the galactic, Ooh, galactic community? community? Yes, no. let's have a... No, that's yes. nonsense. No time, yes. no time for that, no time. Sorry. sorry. Absolutely. Only okay, if so we the, can... Brexit these guys are a little bit stronger, what, but we still collect... seem to be swiftly destroying them. Oh, oh, oh no. That's, so that's, much so we, oh, we've no. set <laughs> We've set off the, uh, the American space alarm. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Hazor. I'm outside your house jacking your car. Get screwed. <laughs> You can't no, stop. That was actually my car alarm. <laughs> I God know. Forbid, no, they, they didn't kill oh, no. Barack Orion in battle. Barack Orion remains to lead our army. Um, so our plan is, uh, I don't want to have to go all the way back around, so we're simply going to conquer some more of your territory. <laughs> Are we just going to um, so do, the, do a, nice a big loop? loop to get yeah. back home. It's a smart uh, idea. That's, uh, I hope that's understandable, you know. It's just a while to get back around. Um, so Sponge Star, let's take over him. No, not our American cartoon-themed planets. Wait, sorry. No, let's go for Eddie. Eddie. Mer oh, please. Mer no, please. Don't go to Eddie Mercury. Eddie Mercury. No. Anywhere but that. Gotta take Eddie Mercury. He's a he's a favorite. Oh my god. The famous British American comedian Eddie Mercury. 
Uh, we have taken, I believe, no damage. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're yet to lose a ship here, which is quite interesting. Um, I was genuinely not expecting it to go this well, Dan. So um, keep it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a loop of a lot of the solar system here. Oh, um, and also on the second fleet, I have um, we have more star destroyers. Uh, star yeah. destroyers, star destroyers, star no, destroyers. We, move, we, move, we, move oh, we have more of them in production just to be safe. Uh, you know, because God, God, God forbid, you know, we're just defenseless in that. We want to have like some yeah. sources there too. Yeah, we've got to make sure. Uh, Neo Ye Old York is uh, going to fall next. I see you've got a lo large mining colony on this one. Do you think that we one. could... Do you... How did Dan get so good at this game in the last hour? He's only got like four hours in the game, but by God, has he had an excellent... Oh, God. We're coming excellent. back to the homeland. There's no support for the galactic the community. Has failed. failed. Now you're take over Sponge Star. No. Mm. So, um, Dan, I've noticed they have a colony on Stargrip Thatcher, so I'm prepping the Barbarian to lay siege to it. Oh, oh. don't worry. Like, we're, So we're actually going to backdoor Stargrip Thatcher here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to need you to um, to like uh, start planetary bombarding Stargrip Thatcher into the ground. Oh, um, we can audit do I just send, Do I just send the fleet there? Send the fleet oh, there. Okay, we need to create right, an army to prevent that from happening. We're going to recruit an assault army. That's very sad. <laughs> Um, there goes, there goes another one. Good luck getting Stargrid. Oh, wait, we Ooh. lost the war. Emperor Spiff is, is victorious because we crushed our enemy, so the war literally I've, just ended. Oh, the war I is finally, over. I finally figured out I could just do that and send you away. That upgraded my, I, I've got some bad news, uh, Hazel, that just improved Emperor Spiff's stats. Um... <sighs> Wait, That's we, we exactly don't, we don't what he wanted. We don't own any of the new territories. Except, well, we, we yeah, actually got Theo Best or Rose. Uh, 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 hold it there. Hold it there. That was the only one you had a claim on. Yes, we also got Edinburgh You'll have to fabricate King. some claims from our Operation Steal. I mean, don't steal <laughs> technology. I doubt you'll ever find out what it's about. I've made a claim on Stargrid Thatcher. <laughs> yeah. uh, should I just position the fleet? No there, one anyway? claims. Uh, no, no, we Thatcher can't. We can't go to know. war for uh, for another ten years. So we're back to peace for a little while. Oh, um, oh peace. God. That's okay. We'll get some more destroyers in that time. Uh, we're hoping they might hit the cap soon. You know, so get excited for that. Woo! You've got ten years, friends. See you then. <laughs> See you Good then. luck, gang. Good luck! War. They're fucked. They're so fucked. They're so fucked. Oh god. Dan, if you if you zoom out and look at the galaxy, we practically control half of it. Um, Amazing. No, wait, they have expanded quite a bit in the south, have they? Uh, no, that's a different AI empire. Which I propose we could just try and subjugate, because they're probably also very weak. Yeah, um, so I'm I mean, going to... that's the fastest way to get their territory. Yes. Uh, I'll get the fleet back to just the the shipyard. Get them out of there. But yeah, we now have uh, 52 ships. <laughs> so it's it's looking pretty good. I see you've erected another station in the shipyard. <laughs> yes. Well, um, yes, we got uh, some more. Yeah, some more like upgrades to all of our star bases so they're more powerful. Uh, which also means we can build ships faster, repair them faster, upgrade them faster, just all of that good stuff. So that's generally what we Wonderful. want. I've just reinforced the fleet there too. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Lovely, lovely jubbly. So they're even stronger now. The fleet can be upgraded, it says? Uh, yes, yes they can. If you uh, merge them all together. Actually, I'll merge them for you. There we go. Okay, thank you. Um, yes, they'll get even better. Oh, and our agenda's ready. We can expand the council slot. So we can now fit a new councillor in. Do we want a Lord High Admiral or a Grand Storyteller? Um, oh, this is to our bench here, is it? Um, yes. I think a Storyteller is a good idea, because you're already the Minister of Defence. We don't really need someone It's important to in. control the culture and narrative of our glorious empire. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Right. There is. This is a dangerous ideology we're touching on, but we're this far in. <laughs> we're, we're this far in. Right. I think. Oh no. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's go for this person. That'll be good. 
Okay, new agenda. Uh, uh, dis- merge that fleet for me, please. Yes, I will. All right. How do, how do I actually do that myself? Split. Uh, you can just like drag a box over all of them, and it should there should be a merge button in the top left. I got it. Oh, they're not back yet. Okay, hang on, that's why. Yeah, they've got to be in the same system. Um, okay. You can upgrade the fleet. Ooh. Yeah, they're on their way back. Wow, happy the, days. the economy is actually balanced. I'm incredibly happy. I, I mean, suppose, um, we are having a slight food shortage. We're teeter on the brink for consumer goods again. But we're hoping we can get even more. Uh, we'll get that sorted, no problem. I've Civilian got a... ships, how have they been doing? There's a science ship who's not done anything for a while. Um, we could get Orvale if we want. <laughs> I don't know. Um... It's a bad system, I won't lie. Um, it's it's probably not worth getting. And we don't need to get it because it's not like they can get it. And I think that's ultimately kind of what matters here. Like, they can't ever control it, so... Pff, okay. It's a non-issue. Understandable. Um, I'm just trying to see where else to expand. Uh, we could get Brink for seven extra gold. At this point, we're just taking whatever we can, I think. Yep. Build that up. Leave B. Okay, the fleet is home. How do I merge these fleets? Oh, um, I'll do it. Transfer ships, is it? Um, cannot merge or... You can't merge ships that are already upgrading, so you've got to wait for the upgrade to finish, and then you can do it. Okay. You used to be able to do that, and it broke the game, basically. Uh, what game is this? This is Solaris, and we are playing it co-opt with Arty Game against Hazor, an ambiguous amphibian, who we just fought in a war. The war went um, pretty decently. Um, it was quite exciting. I like the military strategy of seeing our enemy, f like our fleet, panicking and then flying their fleet immediately into a death trap and being killed by the AI. That was a, uh, a, a power play from them, one that didn't particularly work out. I'm just adding some destroyers to the pile as well, by the way. I, I want to hit that, that 70 ship soon. Of course you do. Of course. I don't think, is there any better ships I can get at this point? Um, Frigate. Yeah, frigates, uh, frigates are good. I think we might have also grabbed cruisers. Yep. I'm not sure. We can get a new one. This Corvette destroyer. Destroyer is the most expensive one. Do we just want destroyer? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just keep ramming out destroyers. They don't really. They probably don't have a system a way to. Oh wait, start. we can now get cruisers. They just unlocked. Let's get one. Wait, hang on a second. Oh, did something just happen? <gasps> that that species to the south of us, Dan, just yeah. became a vassal of the United Space America. <sighs> that's unfortunate. That is, oh, that's annoying. So basically, they've got a potentially an additional fleet now available to fight with them. So, um, okay. In order to in order to stop them from potentially attacking us. I will upgrade the starbase on that border, so we won't need a fleet defending it, because the starbase should yeah. be able to stop any attacks. Sure. They only have one entry point as well to us there, yes. thankfully. It's time for them to die. Yes. <laughs> it feels it, yep. How is my um? How's my army doing? Okay, so I built a small army. Um, I think it. I'll get. I'll build a few more. I think we will need about like 200 army strength, um, and then we should be able to uh, siege any planet they have. Cool. Just keep our scientists busy here with the surveying. Make sure they're always doing something. Could you merge those fleets? Uh, yes. Do do do. There we go. Merged. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm just not seeing that for some reason. Oh my goodness, we have a cruiser. It's oh. a 7,000. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, Dan. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we're going to just invest solely in cruisers now. Our population is now up to 150. I'm going to start taking some um, hostile actions against them, maybe. 
We could do some, uh, gather some information on them. Let's, uh, let's do this. Yeah, they're, they're pushing in here a bit. They, they, oh, they're, they're trying to get some other territories near us. I can see their construction ships. Yeah. It's okay. We'll manage. We've got this down. We, we know how to deal with their type. Guns. Guns. Lots of guns. Guns are always the answer. It might seem like the American solution, but it can also be our solution. It's the right solution. The right, it's always the right solution. And if you listen to the right people, they will always tell you. I see we have a transport fleet army now as well. Yes, so that's basically the military. That's our general. That's our, yeah, our military force. Leave B. They're on their way. I'm getting a lot of our, stations. our system set up. Because yeah, I, I, I guess if you upgrade the systems and that and just mount a mighty defense, they'll never be able to get through us without colossal damage, will they? Yep. This is basically the idea. If, like, the alloy production is insane now because we're just going to be able to get these cruisers very regularly. And yeah. like, the strength they're adding, like, like, three cruisers went made us go from 7,700 to 8,500. That's just three ships. Oh my god, that's so powerful. It's so powerful. Become unbelievably strong. Keeping an eye on our engineering ships as we go, making sure they're all busy. Tire base being expanded. You are not currently doing anything. Can't survey that one. I'm gonna assign maybe. Oh no, they're commanding the spy network. There is like a hostile fleet, alien menace to the south. Hostile fleet? Um. There's a few of them. There's oh. one that's like in a little bubble. Do you see it? Yeah, the one in that little bubble is not one that we're going to be able to defeat until we have like 40k um, strength. <gasps> we got a relic. We got the Omnicodex relic from that from that world we found, Dan. That sounds good. What does that do? Um, it costs us 3,000 unity to activate, but once we do, uh, it will spawn pops from an extinct species on one of your planets. And it gives you plus one gene modification points. So we can just push that button and a new do species it. will come into existence. Do it. Fine. Um, do we want them on <laughs> Saturday <laughs> suffering, lovely Thursday, above average Wednesday, Wednesday, silly Sunday, or an even better Friday? We need. We want them on the front line or something like that because these are going to be like superhumans or something like that. So we want to kind of position them close. Okay, so they would that be... The production and output near our border. So that would probably be which of our systems? Um... It's a bit hard to tell. Uh, silly Sunday. Why not? Let's silly Sunday. See. Silly. That is actually one of our frontline plans. That was a good guess. Right. What population did we get? We got some. They are called Ralkeef. They are talented, venerable Alpine preference. Oh, so they spawn in with the exact habitability for that world. So they're like a perfect, they're like a perfect Wait, where fit. Are they? Where, where, where are you seeing them? This is the planet Silly Sunday. They've, uh, so I'm on Silly Sunday. I'm if you click the population people. and then yeah. in the like demographics, you will uh, you'll see it basically. Uh, oh, demographics growing. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's just the minor population before that. Yes. Okay. They they might be able to do something. Oh, we're being called again. Ooh. Oh, espionage event pending potentially. Um, let's go. So we, we join them. Let's join. Uh, you who? Hello. 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 How's it going? Peace. Uh, it's going uh pretty um, it's going okay. How are you guys doing? Oh, going great. Mm. Uh, we're trying to hit uh, uh well, we're getting like new milestones for our military, you know. Mm. Oh. Well. Oh, awesome! Hey, congratulations. Um, uh, thank you. Hey, is that some food from Edinburgh King you got there? Yeah. We made that. Yeah. Well, um, what'd you yeah. get? I got it's like ravioli with cheese on it. Yes, the fine Italian American cuisine that we uh, created by uh, um, experimenting in our underground taverns. Oh, um, caverns! Don't you appreciate that good cuisine that we've got? Hey, we need some money really bad. You need um, money. Uh, you, you're coming to us looking for money. For money? Uh, yeah, we were thinking that since you enjoyed our colonies so much, you. 
You might have some money. Can we have well, some money? Well, how many, ha do you know, there's some colonies we've had our eyes on. Um, perhaps we can strike some sort of arrangement yeah, there yeah. if you'd be willing oh. to trade. I love arrangements. What are you looking at? Tell me, and I'll go consult with my, um, uh, my vice, uh, well, actually, we're both the king, we've agreed, mm. but, um, we're both each other's, um, vice admiral. I think, man. I think we would like the what system, the system of Amazon would be lovely. We could give you the system of, if you could give us the system of Amazon, how much money would you like in return? Uh, we would like, uh, 2,000, uh, you can give us in energy no. credits or, well, uh, we'll also is... take consumer goods because we're just out of those and you can have oh. Amazon two, two, Prime as well. 2,000 is a lot just for Amazon, you know, like, yeah. Amazon's like a 1,000 colony plan. Let's go for, like, let's go for Amazon okay. and, uh, Vanna. That's two systems, that's a thousand a pop and we'll even throw yeah, in a we're tip gonna have of to sweeten the deal credits. here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'll take 1,000, uh, wait a second, sorry, I have a... A message popping up for me. Never mind. It's never been mind. handled. I will. I will send Just it to you. Mind. I will you take it for. I've sent you the uh, trade deal. Accept it, or the deal is off the table. Amazon and Vanna for um, two thousand energy credits. Uh, I will do one thousand. No, never. Never. Why is your head shaking so much whenever you give me an agreement? Well, that's a real shame if you need that money, you know. That's a wish shame. Could, that's a shame. I guess you wish your we could help you with our one, copious one amount of finances, but yeah. uh, you're not willing to see us what, halfway. 500. Over 500 halfway, you know, we're one. being generous here. 500 for one. Take so, it or leave it. 500 credits for Amazon. Okay. 569. 569 credits for Amazon, you're on. Pleasure doing business with you. Very good, very good. Very much. Uh, yo, if you ever need, if you ever like have any financial Dealer trouble sense. again, you know, always like we're happy to lend it. Thank you, happy to to Thank up, you, you know? for your money. I appreciate this. Remember the uh, the the Islander economy is the gold standard. You just declined that deal. Oh damn it! Hang on a second. I need to reconsult. I'll be oh, right now back. you're gonna have to like the oh, paperwork well, fees involved there. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be at least six hundred. Uh, all right, I'll, I have to talk to my lawyer. Dan, that's Hang giving them more we'll money. Dan, it's gotta be lower than oh, that. Oh, I know. Sorry, wrong way. Sorry, <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> Four hundred sixty-nine. Sorry, we have to subtract the difference. Out of the deal. Mm. Go back to our call. <laughs> oh, Dan just left the call. He should probably stay here because they're gonna come back. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Right, I've been this stealing. Uh, no, we, we might as well stay here because they're going to have to come here and, and join them. Um, what oh, I've been yeah. able to do, by the way, is... going to take over the Discord chat with the power play. Exactly. Um, I've been able to steal some assets of their government. Um, Great. So not only do, do our internal organs give us an advantage, but I've also managed to gain control of one of their governmental operatives. And they now work for us. And uh, when the time is right, we can make them strike. And potentially, I think, you know, we can we can destabilize them from within. Uh, that's wonderful. So if we can destabilize them there and then also just, you know, roll them in our military of 64 mm. uh, ships. Do we get it to like a nice like 69 and <laughs> play waste? Well, I mean, of course, of course. Why stop? Why stop there when you're having fun? It'd just be very upsetting and demoralizing for, you know, the, the general yeah. population, I feel. As Literally, like, the funny meme numbers destroy come to destroy them. Okay, we'll save up for that. We almost have enough for more cruisers. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, let's go full. I've just been picking up some planets here just for extra resources. <laughs> yeah, I've also been... Um, I've sent out some colonies. Now that we have those um, birds that are happy living on mountains, I've been sending them to um, colonize all of our alpine planets, Dan. As uh, that'll, that'll basically solve that issue. Um, yeah. There is an alien species within our borders that's like we've surrounded. Which which one? Near the Lyrum? Oh yeah, they're the, the just a wormhole. Yeah, they're just evil aliens though. Okay. We don't we don't we don't want to fight them because they could be really powerful. Um like True. at least yeah, just... we can we can understand the power of our, our American enemies. Um True. And we know it to oh, be black thereof, you know. Yeah. Alright, I'm now going to automate all of our planets completely. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna purchase another cruiser. 
the nice 10,000 power level soon. Are you getting another colony? Uh, yeah, I got a few colonies set up. I'm also just um, adding some stuff to our stockpile so our systems can empower themselves. There we go. Wonder, can we lay claim to any of those systems? Uh, we can. We require influence to. Space storm hits the galaxy. Ooh. Fifty percent of the okay. systems in the galaxy have been affected. Okay. Um, that's fine. That should be all right. We'll just we'll just ride it out. Oh, well, there's some dissidents on the horizon. Our government. That's fine. We can try and that. deal no, with that. I no, uh, know a few ships can't solve. Yes. Yes. Let's take a look at that situation log. Hmm. Distance on the rise. Bases. Do we choose to seek compromise, crack down, or use propaganda? I, I crack down. Propaganda. Propaganda, okay. That lowers resources from jobs by 10%, but. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. Hang on then. Maybe it's violence okay. is the answer. Maybe. <laughs> okay, we can. We can do that. Hang on. No. I mean, lowering stability might also just do that. Oh, um. They've offered to just give us the Amazon system and they've forgotten to ask for money, so I'm going to accept that. Just accept. It's just, just accept that. Just, Art of the deal. Art of the deal. Finessed. You've just been uh, ultimately finessed. <laughs> oh no, that's, a, that's an amateur mistake. If, if they come into the call, pretend we've paid them, okay? Um, yep. let, let nothing oh, be revealed. So really, they're gonna hate themselves. Yes. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> must be desperate for money. <laughs> so so desperate for money, they forgot to ask for the money they were so desperate for. <laughs> Just run it out. <laughs> Jeff Bezos has been acquired. <laughs> he joins the intergalactic empire. They only had enough money to um to to send half the trade deal message. <laughs> like that's how much energy they had left. With the sub, that's all right. We're only one ship off. I'm just waiting for the resources to come in. It'll be a glorious nice. ten thousand ship power too. Oh, that's good. Situation log. Now I think they are catching up still. We're still not more than half of them. I can't yeah. gauge their military, but technology and economic strength, like we're so far ahead. Yeah, we are. They've also collected no relics, which is unfortunate for them. Glorious day in our empire. Like, our science output is just so goddamn good. Just gonna upgrade all our ships, get them all up to snuff. The cruisers are now being upgraded. Make them even more powerful. Oh, our grand storyteller has upgraded themselves. We can go for um, a researcher bonus on them so we get even more research. Wonderful. Wait, do you want me to cl try click it too? Uh, yeah. So you... do we both click research at the same time? You click it, click it. I've already selected it. If you select it again, it might fire again. I don't know. Double research. Okay. Who knows? If I get a pop up, then I guess we will. Get another cruiser. So how do we find reasonable grounds to declare war on them and just like destroy their capital? Um, a lovely, a, a very direct way of saying that. Um, but well, I've how already. Do we just kill them? I've already started uh, kind of like claiming their systems, basically, is, is how, okay, I'd, great. how I'd say we're, we're going about it currently. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's good. That is wonderful. Science ship. I mean, just survey that, I guess. <laughs> just survey that. I don't, I don't care anymore. Busy. Oh, you know what I will There's do? a lot actually, of science ships just not really I'm going to buy consumer goods off of the market. We don't need them, but it raises the price for them. Oh, yes! And we have we, yeah, we have more money than them. Yeah. Make it more expensive. Yeah, so that's what I've done. I've just tripled the price of consumer goods on the market. Wonderful. <laughs> that'll, uh, that'll, that'll certainly slow them down a bit. Oh, dear. It's so mean. It's fine. Have you been adding some cruisers to the fleet as well? Um, We're 72 now. That's that's past 69. No, uh, I, I didn't, but they're there. Where are these, um, e where are these extra ones come we've from? We've got five cruisers in the fleet. I don't know, but they're there. 
Ooh, Wait, what's rock this? Potential. Rock potential. Uh, very well positioned of the charges. Why not? That's fine. Oh, space piracy is born. <gasps> Damn, oh, there's a pirate fleet in Wednesday. Send in, send oh, in the wait, military. Wait, 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 hang on. In Wednesday? What, where the fuck's Wednesday again? That's over near our capital. Okay, he's going, he's going. Good. Send him on over. It's hard to keep track of all the planets because there's so many. An even better Friday territory and mighty <laughs> Monday in the north. You could see like the continents. Fascinating. Apparently I'm wrong. Okay. Um, we're not on the galactic market because we didn't choose to found the galactic authority. So we're yeah, just on the internal we, local economy. It's fine. We want we now to have, shut down their communication opportunities. Yeah, we didn't want them making friends or allies. I mean, they, they have a vassal, but, you know, that's fine. Ooh, speaking of which, we might be able to upset their relations. Just keeping an eye on where our construction's at. Excellent. Rock potential get. We're building some new stations out here, too. When did we get Edinburgh? Um, we got that a while ago, didn't we? Yeah, I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, we did. We did. Delay claim to that. Th their next city is named Please Don't Attack Us. Is there any way for us to attack it? That is their next star base, yes. And it does have a... It has a Gaia world there, Dan. Okay. All right. Uh, I, once, once the pirates are dealt with, um, we're just immediately invading. Yes. Okay. We also have... Um, we also have our next, uh, our next ascension perk. We can become the end game crisis, or we can go for um, transcendent learning. Uh, I mean, becoming the end game crisis is probably the best bet, really. Yeah, it's, um, it's not a question of what's the best option for us; is it's what's the worst option for them. The universe shall tremble. <laughs> For as long as we it islanders is have known. Destiny. <laughs> it's our destiny. Oh, God. Cool. So that has All given right, so us a new Cassus Bellow. War. On everyone for everything, yes. Um, Amazing. Absolutely incredible. All resources have just been enhanced. Yeah, I'm just on our way to deal with these pirates, and then we should be alright. Yeah, but you go deal with those pirates. <laughs> God. <laughs> Those poor guys. All been unlocked. I've gained even more intel on their empire. Oh, the archaeological dig has not gone well. We're just going to cover that up real quick. <laughs> That's fine. Just pretend, <laughs> just pretend, pretend that wasn't an issue. We're almost on our way to just eradicate the pirates. Smith and Dan, they're, re they're really trying to rename the planet. They really trying to Smith rename. Smith and Dan with a love heart. Smith is cool. Oh, Dan is handsome. That's a great system. The Dan is handsome system. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. Confidence waivers. Uh, a group of... Okay, so this is people upset with our government. Um, we can... Oh, this is... Oh, this is my spies. Okay, I'm going to spend some money. And it will. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, let's let's get some unwavering insights. There's a chance we get very profitable from that. We did. Lovely. Okay, so Excellent. that means all operations against them have now become easier. You just smashed the pirate station to pieces. You're about to blow up their fleet. Job done, Dan. 10k fleet power, Dan. Okay, Wednesday is safe. Wednesday is safe. 10.8k uh, on the space fleet. So how do we? Okay, I'm gonna send them to please don't attack us. Yep. Good stuff. Oh, drain on resources. Um, we've been... Okay. Um, actually, no. Oh, you're oh. being accused of tyranny. That's fine. Accusations of tyranny. Oh, it's fine. Um, oh, if only we had alive. unity. Damn it. Okay. Um, maybe keep keep that event o window open um, as we might be able to get enough unity for, for that event. Okay. The accusations event. Yeah, we'll just leave it be and hope for the best. Keep, keep that handy. I'll just uh, pop this in the corner. Yep. Don't mind the accusations. We'll address them later. The accusations <laughs> are greatly over-exaggerated. Oh, our food is starting to go on the decline. Don't worry. Oh, and the... We still have our, enough to go around. Our crisis progression has been unlocked. Um, 
It appears that we're joining the Shroud Dimension. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, we're becoming psionically powerful beings of unfathomable <laughs> Wait, nature. That sounds like we're losing our humanity. <laughs> it's okay, Dan. This is the ultimate form of the Irish and British combined natures. All right. Doing amazing, Dan. It's okay. We're now the Necrons. <laughs> yes. Just a little bit. Oh, no. Just a little bit. Oh, we're almost at the point where we're going to be able to counter these claims. Um, yes. Good. The game was just like, sure, yeah, of course you can just stop pile influence. But just take your time. No like, we're taking yeah. a long while. You solve so, that you know, when you need response. to. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, the, the army is on its way to please don't attack us. Um, you have to show me how to declare war <laughs> once we get there. Uh, oh, we can now declare war again. Ten years have passed. Oh, great. Okay, so just wait till the army gets there. This is yeah, yeah. Need otherwise. Yeah. They're on their way. They're, they're, they're at Sunday. And everyone will love it if we declare some wars. Yes. I, I, I for one, am very excited. Uh, we basically just want to just tear through their system until we get to their capital or something. Yes. I don't know where it's going to be, but if we follow the daisy chain back. It's yeah, we'll it eventually right. we'll eventually find their systems. I'm sending up our um our invasion fleet as well um for planetary. Attacks. We lay claim to just every planet they own. Um. How do we do that? Uh, I I think we already have that. Oh, we just unlocked slave armies. Oh, we can counter the claims now. Ooh. I'm gonna click it, okay? Yep, sure. Claims are countered. Lovely. We don't have to worry about them. Lovely, chubbly. Yes. My, our grand Wonderful. leader's abilities are never going to be stumped. So he's currently offering plus 13% uh, unity from all jobs, plus six stability, which is very powerful. Very, very powerful. He's a powerful boy. I think we can pick a new campaign soon as well, can't we? It's almost like... Yeah, it is almost done. It's all, it's almost done now. 13 months more. New arrivals. Ooh. Spaceborne amoebas. They're attacking us, Dan. Luckily They're our fleet us. is luckily our fleet is really nearby. It's over in Hamiat. You'll see them. Yep, uh, I see them. Yeah, okay. Send in the military. I'm actually shocked. Uh, is that them? No, that's that's Spaceborne amoebas. Evil okay. evil space whales. Well, I mean, technically, right, they they could have been peaceful, but we did decide that we were going to stop purging them from the galaxy. Yeah, we'll um, we'll take care of the, the space whales. We keep getting negative traits. Chat. Steam Steam chat now is now intolerant. Oh dear. Crap, chat. God damn it, chat! Why do you have to be so intolerant all the time? It's not accepted. Oh dear. Jeez. <laughs> They've now become Twitch chat. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's, just, it's just lactose intolerance, that's all. It has like a yeah, consequence yeah, sure. for the entire galactic empire. <laughs> just can't drink milk. Okay, we're, al we're almost there to deal with them. Gosh, our expansion has been phenomenal. It's been lovely. I'm just saving all the alloys now as well, so we can get more cruisers later. Yeah. In fact, hang on, I can. Oh, can lost get some bureaucracy. Here. Ooh. Due to a major clerical error, Burz and Prime was falling oh, behind. No. Oh, we can invest five hundred money and a hundred influence gives us three thousand unity. What a splendid idea. Yeah, we're not going to throw out the inhabitants and raise the area as fun Wait, as that did would we... be. Did... I clicked it there. Did you click it too? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, I'm just wondering if we double dipped again. There there could have been... Oh my goodness, look at you smash those space amoebas. Oh, look at the size of Oh, this. yes. Good stuff. Good they stuff. have been immediately slain. You did it, Dan. You're a hero yeah. slash Gonna murderer. Gonna continue on to uh, please do not attack us. You're doing brilliant. 
check in all of our construction ships. I don't think there's anywhere we really need to expand at the moment, is there? Uh, not really. No, nope. we kind we of. We could get down very... to Echavira. Um, there's a habitable planet there. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, go for it. It's not like the I mean, guys are doing habitable planet, else. five percent habitable. Um, well, it's got good resources. Just get sure. the resources. Right, we're gonna go Maybe for that's, that's... our new agenda. There we go. Favored society is now out there. Um, we can. We have enough for a point, I think, on something. Do, 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 do. We can get a tradition. We could get a tradition. And you know, I'm also going to go for evolving society for some more unity. Let's get um, um, domination. Seems appropriate. Domination is actually not good. That's for like vassalizing people, which we don't oh, really need. Okay, sorry. Um, no, it's fine. It's um, fine. Unyielding. Unyielding is for like defensive stuff, I guess. Ah, oh, that's useless. That's useless because we're just going to kill everyone. Um, uh, just improve our genetics. We could do harmony, like bring our people together so they'll be happier. Um, sure, let's let's get it. Yeah, why not? That'll make people happy. Okay. Uh, the army. Is in position. So how do we declare war? Right. Um, do you want me to declare the war? Well, how do I do it? I, I'd like to okay. declare war. Okay. Uh, click on their empire. Um, where, the, like, the shield that is next to please don't attack us on the left side. Yep. Right. Then click uh, declare war and select um, either bring... Parlay. Bring into... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, parlay. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. We got some parlay going hey, hey, on. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, hey. I um, really appreciate you our new, just giving us uh, Amazon planet earlier. Names? That was very kind. Yeah, we like your new planet names. Uh, I would like Thank to say, you. who was in charge of sending us that trade deal for Amazon? That was me. Uh, you forgot to ask for any money. Oh, no, that's okay. no we you didn't. Just, you just gave money. it to us. Oh, that was yeah, a gift. Oh, that was a gift. That was a gift, though. It was a very generous gift. You know, okay, I have, a, I have a question for AA and Hazel. Are you more of a fold or a wipe-based individual? Um... With respect Ooh. to what sort of activities? Uh, do you fold or do you wipe? It's a simple question. Fold or wipe? It's, it's, fold it's, or wipe? Well, hang on. Simple I mean, do you, do you mean in the bathroom or? It's, it's a simple both. question. Do you, do you fold or wipe? Do you fold, fold or wipe? Then wipe with the folded. Do you fold so or wipe? A Are you a folder? Oh, a fold. A fold. A fold. Okay. A fold. Okay. Dan, select bring into the fold and declare war. Splendid. Oh, Bow Husky would better prepare your fleets. Why is your head still shaking? Your head it's is shaking time. a lot. Flesh harvesters. Are you, um, are you... Flesh harvesters. The Flesh Goods harvesters. Friday Space Agreement. Bring into the fold. Oh. Hang on. Parlay, parlay. We need to set our own war goal here. Yeah, you need to set your own we war goal. We have to goals. have a goal in this war. In yeah, you need to have a goal. I think we should choose uh, humiliate. I think we could Humiliate? You, you could We're going to make you an space version. I mean, you're already doing that pretty well and humiliating yourselves. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Am I right? We're going to make you regret this more. I don't know. Hey, you don't need to add on, you know. I think I was like, right is, is, uh, Admiral enough. There's uh, too many voices. <laughs> There's not too many voices. It's we're, fine. We're, we're negotiating. Sorry, I'll be one voice soon. Yeah, it'll all be one oh. voice, and it'll be it'll be fold, 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 fold. Um, I've got to be honest; you did choose the best of the two options, unless you did want to get wiped out of existence. So, yeah. Can um, we just can we just have uh, uh, parlay for a moment? Yeah, yeah, sure. What's your parlay? Sure, I'll I'll, un on? I'll unpause the game whilst we're parlaying, of course, because we're busy people. I'm just oh. going to continue advancing Beautiful. my military. And yeah, yeah. Well, but don't I, let me get it. Furthers it furthers yeah, the negotiations. Yeah, yeah. We don't want yeah. that to. Slow I'm just down. going to keep attacking, but please do carry on with negotiations. Would you Would you really want to conquer a planet uh, that's named after you? Yeah, that's all yeah. more reason. Yeah, that's actually so quite encouraging. There. Yeah. Why I, would you want to do that? Oh, that's a big Really. Why would you want to kill the people there and? Make them all separate all their families, make them die, make them wipe or fold, whatever you, whatever have you. Oh dear, that that station of yours just tragically exploded. Oh no, oh dear, what a shame. Space storm dissipates. Space storm. 
Oh, space, space storm. storm. I'll take I'll take that as a that's, sign. We win a we win a fight, and then the space storm great. dissipates. That's just great. Right. Um, Dan, I'm going to need you to position your army above the planet, and please don't attack us and start bombarding. Oh, sure thing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, do I just click the stern? Uh, yes. <laughs> I hate that he's being coached on how there to bombard our planet. No, I think he's right toying. Oh wait, you clicked disturbing. That was the wrong one, Dan. It was increased security spending. Oh, I didn't really think we had enough money. You were. I was making the money from selling our gubbins. Oh, uh, I. <laughs> it's all right. Perhaps he's we could take it. advantage Oops. of this. So orbital bombardment, is it? Yes, back in back in Walmart's, and please don't attack us. Wait a minute. No, not any place, but Walmart's. Do they it. don't so have he's anything. In, he's there. in Fordora, is that right? Um, it does. Uh, yeah, that's where your fleet currently is. Send your fleet back to please don't attack us. Okay. Just making sure I've got this right. <laughs> Fred, actually, you should no, also. It's my first time or Why will you attack the planet? You know, attack I'm trying to make sure I'm doing. You this should probably correctly. also just send it there to um to repair at the uh, starbase as well, because uh, it could do with a repair. How do I do? I just send it to the starbase itself. Uh, what you, else, Hasbro, like What it? else should I name the planets oh, okay. so that they don't take them? That clearly oh, didn't right. work. None of that worked. I was hoping that <laughs> when we said very clear instructions on the planet names, they wouldn't attack uh, it. Yeah, I'm not sure we can rely on that strategy. Okay. We have to find forward. a new strategy because right now our economy is in shambles. I mean, it's doing great, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do, we don't need money, and we can just afford to give them our yeah. planet in we're, hopes that they will generally be assuaged and absolutely not fine. dislike Everything us as much. Dan, they are attempting active. to attack us. Just be aware. No, yeah. we're not. And no, we, we would are. never attack guys, you. No, we like would you do that. Much. And the better that's, Roosevelt. That's uncalled for. That's uncalled. That's Come slander. On, now, why would that's you slander. attack us unprovoked? Unprovoked. We would never. We would never do that. We would never. Uh, Guys, arrange a, a now, you're better than secret that. operation named Operation oh, God. Steel get along here. Oh, no, the, the, one, station, like, the station's trying to push strong. the envelope. Is the station kicking them a bit? The station is actually putting up a bit of a fight. But it's not enough. Dan, send the fleet back down oh. south. You've got to kill it. You can't oh, let them so you can't let fight. them take Monday. Wait, where am I sending the fleet? Back to where the bed of Roosevelt. To the Roosevelt, Dan. Okay, they're at the, it's, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Why uh, does every one of our goddamn playthroughs involve Teddy Roosevelt somehow? <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get there. He's everywhere. Actually, we might be able, if we upgrade our ships, we could do an emergency FTL jump right onto that system. I don't know what that do means, so I don't know how to prevent do it. it. What does that mean? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's been, just an, it's just an option like we could do. We've been using twigs and stones to build our empire for the last two hours. <laughs> and you're talking about FTL jumps? <laughs> Just do it. Are you sure? Okay. Yes. Hey, here's an right, option. Dan, uh, upgrade the fleet. That's what they're doing. Wait a minute. Yeah, before you, upgrade. before you, before you attack us, I have another offer. What's your offer? How would you like to be? Subjugated and dominated by us, but just on some of your planets. I'm afraid we're the subjugating and dominating type. Sorry. I. Oh, well, you can have that as yeah. well. Maybe there was another race of um, boar people that wanted to be subjugated by us. <laughs> the only boar people on. here are you. <laughs> okay, yeah, you gave them that one, dude. <laughs> yeah, you gotta um, set that one up now. Wait, on. I'm running out of ideas. I need to uh, think of something. I'm, I'm, uh... So, are you saying that you don't want to be subjugated? Just to be perfectly clear about that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, just keep talking. Your honor. Keep talking. Why don't you want to be subjugated? Wouldn't it be oh. nice you could give up some of your head control? Of you know, Neil control. Just you makes worked himself to death. Did your your head of research just die? What? No, Neil no. Armchair space. No. Neil. No, not Neil Armchair space. <laughs> oh God. Uh, who should we appoint? Uh, Ed Edmund Burger King. <laughs> Or what was his name? Burger King Henry VIII. Oh God! Um, don't worry, we've got a we've got a situation <laughs> soon where we're going to be able to smash him. Yeah, oh, just, that's not good. I don't want to hear finish. that. Yeah, it's going to take but, a little, um, little while to upgrade our fleet, but it's all okay. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with you, then. Yeah. Uh, hang on a second. Let's let's go ahead and uh, we're, we're um. Hmm. 
I have to think of something, a better idea for some way to assuage you. Give me like five minutes. Uh, That's all good. Yeah, we'll we'll go just sit tight here. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we've, we'll, uh, we've laid claim to the communal Discord chat as well. You know, like, yeah. uh, just to establish the power dynamic. Oh, you just here. you just sit here now, huh? Okay. We do. Why yes. Is... I get it. Every leader is shaking. Every leader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh sorry. Why? No, it's just this yeah, other one. Imagine, imagine they know that the writing's on the wall. Why are all of our okay. leaders crying and pissing themselves continuously? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Okay, so you're xenophobes, right? <laughs> yeah, they are. Yes. Uh, which, which See, we, don't, we, don't, we don't, we don't, like that, that term. We don't like that term. <laughs> that tracks, doesn't it? We yeah. Um, that fits. <laughs> has there, there are Amer more American than we are. I'm afraid. Yes, to be honest, to be Xenophobe. honest, I did notice that. This is what would have happened if the civil war never happened. Hmm. God. Mm. We are almost totally ideologically opposed to you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop Jerry Adams. <laughs> what? What is this? Oh, I don't know. Okay, the fleet. Um, they're they're really taking their time. Yeah, I probably should have built like an additional um additional ship constructor here. Actually, I'll do that. Let me build an additional shipyard. That'll increase the speed. Can we, can we recruit? If you get a few more cruisers, we have enough for one at least. Uh, yeah, we can do. Why not? Let's go for that. I can, I can hey. buy some more alloy, too, you know. We could just buy some more. Well, yeah, but that's because we got money. Do you guys have money over there? Um. Hey, uh, you know, um, I got a, uh, off topic. Great segue, I know. Mm -hmm. Um, how would you guys like to shrink your empire? Yeah, it's so huge, <laughs> it, it seems hard to, um... Uh, command it all, you know? Don't you think it would be easier if you gave up some of it? I think you'll find that Grand Ad Admiral Spiff is, is quite quite um, quite power, well, powerful enough yeah, it, to bring everyone together. And um, I know you have a huge empire, but, you know, they say it's not the uh, the size of the empire. No, it is It is just the size. It actually is the size. It is just Ours the size. Ours is more shapely, It matters, though. like, much more significantly than people like to admit. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, honestly the <laughs> determining factor in, uh... I would... I would wholeheartedly disagree with you, then. Um, um well, well... we can agree to disagree, then, I suppose. How many... How many space lovers do you have? Because Dan and I are united in space love. Hashtag Pride Month. <laughs> Happy Pride. Uh, Happy Pride. Now, they are... Well, I'll have you know that we are also lovers. Sure, say it like that. I believe you. Yes, we met on planet Mahatma Gandhi's nuts. <laughs> it's not just a PR move. Uh, how romantic. How romantic. It was a peaceful union among us. Am I, oh no. Oh my god. I said, the I just said among us. Yeah, oh, you? the whole stream has led up to this point. Among us. Oh dear. Um, so just waiting to get our warp drive installed, and then we're just gonna swiftly come and kill you. Yeah. So what kind of weapons do minutes. our ships use? Do they use like um, what are these? Uh, nah, I could like upgrade our armor, I guess, a bit. I I have noticed like they have a fleet, Dan. Like they've got a fleet. Look at that. Like that's almost. I do yeah. It's strength. not as strong as ours. It's, it's like kind it's of quite pathetic. Yeah, I've noticed right that here. like, yeah, this is only six thousand. Pathetic. Pathetic. Oh, we gotta keep this event open. Where to Dan. get school? Um, actually, okay. keep that event open. I have another idea. All right, can I share something with you? Sure. What's your <laughs> Please idea? Please don't. All right. It only the gets worse when Chinese he shares. The ancient philosophy of Taoism professes that the man who is most like water and remains beneath things, that he shall be the strongest. So the weakest is actually the strongest. If we allow them to conquer us, they depend upon extrinsic goals in order to feel good about themselves. They actually feel like doo-doo inside. But we, you and I, feel good. And we don't need those outer extrinsic goals met in order to uh, feel good about ourselves and feel not like doo-doo. Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, just counterpoint. Um, Spiff, we're 3% off. Uh, mm -hmm. the warp drive. Oh, mm -hmm. Sorry, 2%. Uh, we want to just get in there and maybe swiftly do it. Sorry. High Emperor Spiff is enjoying some cherries at the moment, handed to him by his slaves. Oh, wow. His many slaves. Yummy. Mm. Uh, the, uh, the, the fleet is now ready. Splendid. Do you want to, do you want to send him over? 
Um, yes, yes, I'll send it where, down to where, where do you think about well, you think we could rename something so that we could go them over to I'm, I mean clearly all of my negotiation strategy strategies failed. Ne nothing negotiation works. Absolutely nothing works. Negotiations. <laughs> I don't know, I'm running I'm out of words. I tried using ancient Chinese philosophy, I tried renaming all of our planets. I'm just simply out of words at this point. I've tried nothing and I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> Where are they about to appear? They, they're, they're sounding like they're about to appear. You don't have any resources left. We fully. We why don't fully you move? Why don't you move into the Hagawa system, system and uh, actually no, the Wednesday system? Why don't you move into Ooh, the Wednesday? Okay, system? They're in Hagawa. They're in Hagawa. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. That's good. That's Is good. it good? Uh, are we gonna make our move now, Smith? I. Uh... Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm just gonna quickly proclaim superiority, which increases attraction to xenophobes. Um, <laughs> he's at it again. Okay, I'm not into that. Iris. I swear to God, I don't like. I don't like it when other uh, empires dominate ours. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna name a planet something that will make you attack it. I don't know what's happening with these. Look, Hazor. Look near that? Amazon. We actually, we actually need to make a move. Smith. It's okay, Dan. Daddy's what, here. What, what's the plan now? <laughs> It's okay, Dan. He hasn't told me this. I'm, I'm actually kind of panicking myself. You don't need to panic, Dan. Everything's going to be panic, okay. Panic, 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 Dan. Panic. Press buttons. Press, press buttons, Dan. Right. I, I know things that bother you, and I'm going to try to lead you in a... I mean, I'm not going to do anything to uh, goad you. Um, I've noticed you have, a, you have a pathetic little vassal. Um, yeah. He's, but the pig people, right now... Really proving mm. their worth. Boiling. Are they? Have they done anything for you? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm naming our planets things that bother you. They're ravaging your space. They're spa uh, I don't think they're really ravaging my space. Look at them ravaging. Eh. Should we, should we maybe hop into our own chat? For it's a fine. Look, they're attacking our capital planet. It's it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> What? Is this? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Woo! Go team! It's okay. Don't worry. I'm, I feel a little in the yes, dark. Yes, there goes the King George the Third. It's okay, Dad. I knew I could count on you, Hazor. I thought oh, we, yes. I thought we had FTL technology ready. It turns out that that was one of the many research options, and the AI <laughs> chose not to go with it, uh, ah, which excellent. is one of the many downsides of. Uh, of having everything set to automated. <laughs> well, we've just lost our capital. No, nope, we still have control of it. They are simply bombarding it. They have no way okay. to actually invade. So all is fine. And if mm. anything, they've now trapped themselves inside of our space without an escape route, Dan. Well, oh, they, they, have, they have two fleets now. There's a second one. Yeah, but the second well. fleet is their vassal. It's like pathetic. <laughs> and it's doing really good. Sure. All things considered. Spot. Sure. I see how it is. I'm very pleased with this outcome. You're pleased so, with it. You're 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 dead. You're almost dead. We do have more. Oh, no, we have a lot more. We have the agonized armada. We have the troubled armada. We have the distressed yeah, they, armada. I don't understand why they aren't merging properly. It the mortified doesn't... armada. The desolate armada. The dolorous Stop. armada. Stop talking about all of our armadas. It is the weird, but we actually are winning the war I mean, overall. You can don't see have any graph, yeah. Yes. Why did they get these names? Yeah, I don't actually know how the uh, all the war stuff works, but you did are you a much more militaristic. Uh, people well, if you if you check, so like there's the if you check the war button in the bottom right, it gives you an indication yeah, of how are, it's going with the progress bar. We are more war exhausted than you. Oh, I thought that meant we were dying. But it's because we aren't ever, we aren't a warlike civil. We didn't ask for this. Space American war. Our hand. I will say, uh, I think now is a decent time to start building a second fleet, Dan. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Um, I've Can created we, uh, a new fleet. There's, there's, a, there's a few. Where, where are we putting it? There's, there's a few ships at Clandat. Should we move them down? Um, no, it's it's up at the up in the north near. Yeah, in Clendaf. Um, this is your new okay. fleet. So you can click Fleet Manager, get building, and get a new fleet up, up and operational. That's uh, your mission. Uh, 
sure. Meanwhile, I am attacking their little AI gubbin army. It's no! Dicking uh, around we'll in our add... space. Not the Get pig some people. Destroyers to you. start with. Those My cute bastards. pig people. Dang you. Oh, that is quite a large fleet. Oh, we've discovered the center of the galaxy. <laughs> nice. Great. Uh oh. I Where might have ignored some things while, while I was doing war. I might have ignored some things, eh? It's okay. It's just our entire civilization collapsing. Uh. I was busy. What can I do? <laughs> at this point, I don't know. <laughs> uh, hey, we're not at uh, we're at only twenty two percent crime. Oh, the stability is at three percent on our main. Uh, uh, nope, not our main. I mean, it's not. It's really good. It's a really Stability's good. going great. Level okay. of stability. It's, it's, oh, awesome. it's going. It's going fantastic. That's good to know. People are getting a bit agitated because we've lost a few territories, but like we're going to claim it back in a moment. So I mean, honestly, I'm I'm very impressed by how chill pretty much everyone is here. Yeah. They just don't care. Ooh, foreign empires claims our system. Do you just spend a bunch of influence claiming our systems? <laughs> I didn't. I thought it might do something. No. <laughs> just slow them down, quick. Man, you know, I think as we're Basically, carrying the entire team allowed enough distraction to occur. Mm. Sure. So very nice. have, you got, have you been doing something in the meantime? I have been. If you um, have, please tell me now. Now, now would be the time to hear. <laughs> uh, uh, right, Dan. Ooh, with that, up our Dan, with that new fleet you built, it. I need you to send it to. Please don't attack us and start bombarding War Mars, please. No. Uh, is it ready? It is ready for you to start bombarding it because of the defense station there. They won't be able to um, to do anything. Good, I'm building agriculture. I mean, I'm not building agriculture. Eliminate the traitors, Dan. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, no, not, not, nothing bad happened internally there. We had some dissidents on a planet, sorry. Um, I'm sure you know what it's like. Hey, don't call them dissidents. Those are our citizens. No, no, they weren't yours. Don't worry, they were our own. <laughs> they were our citizens. We were yet to claim. You must understand. Uh... Ooh, stronger leader. Um, yes. Let's give me yet another trait. Great inventor. Okay, AA. We I... need to go into our own room and talk about this in private. I will allow that. I can't listen to these people. I've, okay, goodbye. I've given my demands. Goodbye. We don't accept them. We're just gonna kill you. It's fine. Oh, they're gone. They go on. Lovely. I've clicked over the environment. Are they attacking? Uh, no, they've got to be positioned above the planet. I'll do that. Here we go. Um, ooh. The orbital bombardment of War Mars has sparked our council to discuss how, how we should uh, respond to hypothetical surrender. Should we... Yeah, we will allow their surrender, basically. So if, like, they, they want okay. to surrender because of the bombardment, we can let them. Sure. Are they, so are they actually bombarded? Did I said it. Oh my <laughs> we goodness. Will not be denied. Oh my god. Menacing corvettes are now available for construction. We can now build superior corvettes, Dan. Ooh. Wonderful. Let's uh, get some of them coming in the wings. Oh, these are these are so cheap. I can I can get I can get so many of these. Yeah. Dan, I'm going to give you the Zealot ability, which gives you unity for every enemy ship you kill. Okay. So you're just going to love murder. Which, as we know, resonates well with you. Wonderful. Uh, I've just spam-clicked Menacing Corvettes as much as possible. Lovely. We have a small military fleet. Oh, dear. This is going on fantastic. Okay, are they bombarding it then? I don't think they are still. They they are bombarding it, yeah. We can see the fleet above the planet um, bombarding it. It's, where, it's where, not, where, it's not where doing too much damage at the moment. Because um, we need we kind of need more ships in that fleet if that's okay. If you wanna, oh, like, okay. It's Walmers. I see it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, where are you building these menacing corvettes? Oh, there they are. Right, I planned that, yeah. we should send them over to be merged with that fleet. Um, so that's what I'll do. 
Send them on. Because yeah, that's going to be. That's where they're basically going to send their their retaliation attack. It's going to go there. Okay. Um, where do we send our main military then? To just take them at this point. I'm upgrading it to see if I can get jump drives, um, basically. And I still don't think we've got jump drives. No, we still haven't. That's annoying. Uh, there's no upgrades available. Yeah, we don't have it. We should just go in at this point. Well, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send our capital fleet back because in doing so, it will um, it will liberate our home world, which I think is worthwhile just to do. Um, okay. Yeah. Sure. Like, uh, let me just get more medicine corvettes if I can. Not going below three k there. Oh, burden of leadership, Emperor Spiff. Oh, I get brutal, lovely. Um, <laughs> oh no! Plus well, twenty appropriate. Yeah, that is appropriate. That seems completely appropriate. Yeah, our fleet is now. Oh, it's on the way. Oh, I've up leveled up again. Dan, uh, click the leader level up button. Which one do you want to go for? Uh, we want military. Okay, so you go for unwavering aggressor, and I'll go for um, titan of industry for the economy. Sure. Okay. Three, two, one. Click. Yeah, it's Wonderful. lovely. Lovely, lovely jubbly. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, we got both of them. Perfectly balanced. Yeah, there's more uh, Corvettes from Clendalp just being... Uh... Holy mo Okay, so we now have two fleets that are larger than their one fleet, um, which should make this whole war experience a little bit easier for us, I think. We need to pull all these fleets together, I think. Yes. Well, we want two fleets. So one holds the north, one holds the south, is my thinking. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll just put all the gland planned out ones together. Yep, that should uh, do. Just get them all here. <laughs> there's so many. They keep, like, there's, like, fractioned it off constantly. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, uh, let me see. I'm going to build... I'm going to give them just... Two cruisers as well, just for good measure. Wait, hang on a second. They have a rebellion in their own empire. That's they, unfortunate. They have a rebellion. What? How on earth did that happen? I guess we can guarantee the independence of like their tiny space tribe. Oh let's yeah, no, New Old York is independent now. Yeah, let's let's get some uh, guarantees <laughs> of independence from them. Let's be friends of them. Yes, good, good stuff. How's my espionage looking doing? Okay. Do we just not care that our planets are occupied at the moment? Like, do we, does that not matter? Only one of the planets is occupied. The uh, others, basically, the like star base above them is occupied. So, I'm yeah. that's what I'm I'm focusing on clearing up is the uh, the star bases, um, because that gives us back control of the resources we were making from them. Um, okay. Yeah. So. That's the main thing I'm fixing, and the we only have one planet occupied, and that was occupied by their AI. So not really an issue. Drain on resources. Wait, what are we Ooh, losing? Ooh, uh, basically we've uh, we're yeah we. This is my spy operations okay. in the uh, enemy enemy empire. Sure, it's fine. Yep. Just don't don't worry good. about it so much. Uh, I gotta merge all the armies here. Yeah, how do I actually do this, Swift? Uh, you just drag all over them, and I think you can press uh, like G to group. Yeah. But by doing so, yeah, they the are now um, they're now bombarding, and uh, because of that, and there's a lot of them, they're going to be able to bombard faster and more efficiently. Put them all together. Yeah. There we there go. We go. Look at that lovely bombardment. Four K fleet. Good bombardment. Right. Take their planet yet. It's actually looking really rough for a beer. Yeah. They're kind of in a bit of a tricky pickle, I'd say. Bit of a pickle. Is oh, there they're... still another fleet in there? Yeah. Um, the AI has sent a fleet into us, which is fine. Oh, is that the seventh fleet one? Oh no, you, you merged with I've there, just I think. Merged okay. from here, don't worry. 
Okay, Walmars. The garrisons of Walmars are slowly falling, um, which is getting better and better for us. We are liberating our home system now with our Giga Fleet. It Should is... I press on the ones liberated. up here? Oh yeah, no, we got it back though. Yep. Um, so you probably shouldn't press on the ones up there. Um, Let's wait for Walmars to fall. Yeah, you, we need we need Walmars to fall, and then basically we want to keep marching in um, after we, and then just go like planet to planet. So we want, yeah, please don't attack us in Walmars to fall, and then we move on to Stargate Thatcher. Stargate Thatcher. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. I'll just keep uh, getting cruisers in the meanwhile uh, from Clendel Station. Yep. And whilst this goes on, I'm just doing my best to uh, to manage the uh, the sectors and make sure they're all happy and automated. Sounds lovely. Hang on, I won't do any more of those just because we're a bit low. Investigate this, sure. Lovely job, Lee Dan. This is going good. So, RT Game and Spiff are winning. Um, well, we've we've exceeded winning to the point where we've now become the end game crisis. I'd say, um, like our menacing corvettes oh, yeah. are lovely. They there are, are just, so many of them. They've got skulls and crossbones on them. Like that's how you know we're down to party, and we're currently so many. orbitally bombarding some innocent people. So yeah, yeah, I'd say. Um, I'd say we're doing uh, we're doing good. Oh, council agenda of ready. There we go. Bam. Evolving society. We can go for military build up, which makes our ships cheaper. I think it's yes. probably worthwhile. More, more, more military. Yep. We have another fleet ready to join. Right, the enemy AI fleet is a bit overextended. Oh, they they've just sent their fleet into sensor range in Stargrip Thatcher. They've got four thousand fleet there, and they've got six no, thousand. But they do have a six thousand four hundred with um, with uh, that Ooh. star base. So that is like a ten k build up. Okay, uh, uh, let's get some even more. I stuff. think we should be able to like upgrade our fleet. And in doing so, that should make it even more powerful. But yeah. Should I stop the bombardment and focus on no, that? No, no, keep the bombardment going. We're almost ready for the invasion. Um, speaking of which, let me see if I can recruit some slave armies to join in. Slave armies are cheap. We're up to 12.1k. With our new military. Oh, lovely. Very good, Dan. Very sending, good. I just keep sending along whatever I can, and I'm just producing more and more. Oh, Medicine I found the, are so good. I found the bulk of the Vassal fleet. It was 2.1k, so the main fleet smashed that. One of our ports is under attack. Our ports? Ooh, which one? Oh, uh, I think it's their AI running around. Yeah, it's not, not a problem. Okay. Yeah, the... the They've taken. They've laid claim to a lot in the south. I see you're kind of cleaning it up, though. Yeah, it's I'm just, there. I'm just making my way too. my way through it. it. Yeah, it gives you experience, which is good. And yeah, all I need to do is like take over Diffius and then build some like defense platforms there, and the AI won't be able to come back in, which is kind of just all Happy we need. Happy days. Keep getting cruisers. <sighs> Four medicine corvettes. You can just pump these out so much. They're so cheap. They are. They really are. All right, the planet the is. The northern military is stronger, I think now. Yeah, that's where they've put. Let's their get fleet. in there. Once it all uh, merges, it will be. Relic activations available. Yeah, we don't need to do it. Basically, we can spend unity to just summon population out of thin air. Oh um, yeah, we can use that again. Yeah. In a while. Let's get all the fleets together again. Uh, as ever, we simply merge, make it all even stronger.
Merge him again. Oh my god. And just merge him again, please. <laughs> yeah, it's it's almost there. It's just got it just needs a little bit more. A little bit more power, is that all? Just getting a few more cruisers. Let's get one more. It's a good feeling. So God, you're spending so I'm many stuck. alloys on this giant thing. <sighs> I mean, I, I've been getting so many cruisers. Like, we're just so secure now. We don't That's need to worry. Fine. Yeah, we might as well. There's literally no consequences. Send them in. Another 14,000 here. So, like, they're not going to be able to take both of them. Right. Uh, I'm trying to see what navies they have that are near us. The the AI army to the south has just been smashed. I think we did lose potentially a handful of cruisers in the process. Uh, not cruisers. Maybe a dis... Okay, we lost some corvettes, that's all. So I'll send this fleet off to get repaired, but we now won't face issues from the enemy AI. Um, which means when that happens, I can stop pushing out in the middle section and take over Wonderful. Planet Coffee which will then force them to pivot their military down from defending Stargrove Hatcher, I think, is my logic. Okay, so Minutes. we just kind of wait a bit. Yeah, I think we just hold off and enjoy. Right, uh, looks... Wonderful, I'll keep getting more medicine corvettes. Yeah, looks like we're ready to uh, land our armies on War Mars, though. So um, in come the uh, drop pods. They've landed on War Mars. And um, yep, it's looking good. Some casualties on our end, but that's fine. Oh, there we go. They're crumbling. They're crumbling. Lovely. All oh, these pathetic Gonna armies. Merge them more. I, I think Walmaris might be in trouble at this rate. There we go. Invasion over. We've successfully invaded. We did it, we Dan. Did it. Right, we can now move on. Now, is it? Our planet is now occupied by us, and if we win the war, we keep it. So now we want to move on to Lac Lock Vegas. Lock Vegas, oh god. Yeah, let me, let me just gather the reserve troops so we can get a combined strength of like 17,000 here. That's what you'd like to see. And is that maximum capacity for the fleet? Oh no, my, my son. My son died. Oh. This has made me paranoid. Okay, that's fine. I get blind and grief for a little bit. And I'm now paranoid. That'll be alright. Yeah, I'll be okay. It's just a, it's another like negative trait to the pile at this rate. <laughs> King's uh, not doing well. No, blind and grief. There we go. Blind and grief. Oh, no. Reformists have started to send demands. No, you haven't, you bastards. Don't you dare. Stop that now. Stop that. Stop that now. Maintain control. Just because my son died doesn't mean I'm weak. More power right, than I'm, gonna, I'm going over to Las Vegas. Uh, we have 17,000 force strong. <laughs> Lovely. 99 ships out of 100. Jeez. Yep, all of their... um. All of their little uh, just, construction. It's just, they away. just disappeared. They just did. So we go to Stargate Thatcher, yeah? Yeah, they've left it vulnerable to attack. They've only got some corvettes defending it, so you should be able to take it with that 18k fleet power. The the secondary fleet is now more powerful than the first one. Yeah, uh, it's it's actually insane. For some reason, the infantry likes to run ahead first. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Just take them out, lads. They don't. They don't stand a chance. They don't. Good lord. The army's going first, like they are. <laughs> oh no, we lost our research agreement. We did. But they did. Oh. It's Stargate Thatcher. Did, did it not have a planet here? It does have a planet. It's uh, hidden away. It's called Siggy One. Oh, I see it. Hang on. Yeah. Orbital right. bombardment has begun. <laughs> Uh, I think we should probably go for because um, we can pick a new uh, a new ascension perk. I'm thinking 
galactic force projection could be a good idea as that allows us to have greater naval capacity which we're currently over ours so it makes our military cheaper so i'll go for that Do we have an imminent situation uh, the imminent situation is just the reform demands okay. um yeah it's fine it'll uh it'll pass with time we will deal with it it's all good uh where do i need to click for um no need no need to click for perks you're all good okay you're good uh, I'll just keep an eye on Stargate Thatcher's demise. Yeah, you just keep uh, you just keep making sure that's getting bombarded. Eighteen thousand strong, and I'm gonna just keep like recruiting more troops from Clendalt. I can only actually get I can I can squeeze two more in. I can squeeze two more in. Two more. We'll just merge them. Oh my gosh. Oh, the oh. reformist demand situation advances. They destroyed a district on uh, even better Sunday. That's unfortunate. Oh, how dare they! I need I need something that's ship size of two, so I can I just get a destroyer, don't I? Yeah. Or I can get two medicine corvettes. Four point six hundred. Oh yeah, no, get the destroyer. Okay. Get that in the wing. So any ship that we lose along the way, we are simply going to replace instantly and have it in the reserve army or the reserve army. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna have another military established as time goes on. <laughs> We're, we're laying siege to their world. It should not be long now. All right, I'm getting some good espionage events on them. I'm hoping to potentially arm some privateers to fight them, is my goal. Wonderful. Yeah, so our current infiltration, infiltration level should be able to increase. Um, we've got good intel on all of them. We could... Fuck it. What if I just make another fleet? <laughs> no, Dan. We don't We don't need another fleet. We don't so need it. what if it. I did? But there's no need for it, Dan. But, like, but look how many... Much, like, look. We have 8.8k for, like, our uh, minerals. Mm -hmm. And the Medicine Corvettes only take 250 apiece. I could just get, like, 20 of these. Easily. Yeah, but why? We don't... Because... Dan, if we look at their if we look at their empire, they have pathetic on all stats to us. Exactly. We want to win by a wide margin. That's why I'm going to spend oh. eight thousand minerals. My God, Dan. Um, fine. Get another fleet ready. I'm ready to start marching in the third fleet. The fifth um, fleet is on its way. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm trying to build up a greater invasion force so that we can clear these planets faster. But it's it's kind of expensive. Um, these little. Little peasant more troops, troops more than anything. We, we have so many ships. Yeah. Yeah, we just need invasion. Cover blown. Oh, okay. no. They destroyed another district. They're, get, they're getting really upset at your reign. We should have foresaw this. We should have foresaw that a military dictatorship might not be the chillest of vibes. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Someone it is going to... well by other counts. Yeah. And those other counts are the ones that matter if you think about it. Yeah. In a cruiser. Is, can I make the uh, bombardments better? Wait, spaceborne horror encounter? Yeah, you don't need to worry about those. They're fine. They're fine. Okay. Um, sure, sure, there's nothing to worry. Yeah. yeah, the fifth flight. The the fifth fleet is in the works. We're just chucking in a cruiser whenever we can because we now have plus eighty alloy production, which is insane. <sighs> Jeez. Plus eighty alloy production. It's pretty nice. Uh, at this point, oh, we're not double them still. Wait, no, they've fallen behind the AI. They the have, Rankins. which is why their own AI basically dropped a bunch of. Um, oh uh, God, love them. Yeah, it dropped a bunch of like support for them. So I'm gonna offer offer to support their independence, which should push them towards <laughs> a path of rebellion. Yes, perfect. Oh, uh, we found a uh, a thing. It's okay. We don't need to worry about it. Just let the mushrooms be. Yep. Um, leave those mushrooms. You, 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 oh, you it. said start monitoring. That's all right. Uh, we Just found some on, robots. Signed, signed the wrong form again. Yep. <laughs> the found... Gosh, what is this? I need more ships. Engineering research gain. Just 3,000 casually. Sure. Oh, dear. We accidentally um, triggered an enemy uh, robot. Um, that's that's right. fine. It's okay. It doesn't matter. 
There's some mega war forms. Oh, they just invaded one of our systems. Shit. Uh, that's okay. We have the fifth fleet, which now 37 ships strong. Where yeah, if you, could, if you could send the fifth fleet over to Keder, Kederka, that would be lovely, Dan. Yep, Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what Thank they're you for. So much. Ooh, I can execute a traitor. This would kill one of our scientists and make my paranoid trait worse, or I can say we need more evidence. The performance is man situation advanced by seven um i'd say we just kill him the scientists haven't been doing much anyway. fine my my paranoid trait is just gonna get worse and worse but that's fine yeah just it, it is what it is you know yeah that's that's manageable um i guess we go for like uh it's all right the fifth fleet is now gonna take care of these guys in a moment so don't worry too much there lovely fort fleet they're still continuing their invasion I'm surprised it's able to hold out so long from all the orbital bombardment. Yeah, they've got some pretty... Def I think it's because their their planets are strong, basically. And because of that, their their troops hold out for longer. But we're almost at the point where I can start dropping the uh, the reinforcements. Well, there's battleships now. Yeah, we One researched 1,000 alloys. Yeah, they're a bit pricey, but they're good. Well, I'm going to... I'm buying one. Pff, good. Oh, good. Good. We need it. I, I'm sure we do. Oh, we uh, we now have an open position on the council because we killed the last person on the council. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we should probably. I'll get probably fill that in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should fill that in. Let me find someone for it. Stream chat. Stream chat can do that. Yeah, Don't ask what. Chat. Oh, and oh, that actually moved the head of research position. They were already on the council. Um, new job. I'm gonna get my my new crown prince son to do it. He's the heir. He'll be the new head of research. Uh, we have swiftly destroyed them. Lovely stuff. If you can bombard our own planet, please. Oh, they don't have... We don't need to. We don't need to bombard our Wait. own planet. Their, uh, their armies... One. Yeah, their armies have been defeated, so... Um, oh, our, our own planet, not the enemy one. Um... Yeah. You can still bombard this one though, yeah? Yeah, still bombard the enemy one. Oh! Execute another traitor. Oh, no. Admiral Ronda. Uh, execute a lot of people. Fuck it, let's go. Stalin mode. We <laughs> just just execute them. We might need it we're gonna need a new admiral for one of the fleets, Dan. Um <laughs> Admiral Ronda's sadly passed on. Oh, uh, uh, that's a that's a real shame. Hang introducing on, the, uh... I, I found Admiral Jacob Howell to replace her. He'll do great. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, accidents happen, you know. Yeah, it's such a shame she decided to potentially be traitorous. No consequences will come of our actions, I'm sure. Let me get some more medicine, Corvette. Right, we have we bombarded. Yeah, we bombarded Stargrove Factory into the ground, so we are now ready for the planetary invasion. Right, merged up. Landing our orbital armies now. Stargrove Thatcher will fall. Uh, it, it doesn't stand a chance. We were just bombarding a little extra too. Geothermal? Sure. Mm -hmm. I've almost got the next army uh, ready as well. Like We've just been like kind of prepping it up. They've got the new battleship. Oh my god, Dan. Not Stalin mode. Look, it's fine, guys. And there oh, we go. Relic found. Oh, so we got a new relic from that uh, that AI that we just put down. Um, let's take a look at that relic, I guess. Where is it? It is in situation the fragmenter. Relic? Yeah. Society management. Oh wait, wait! Go. I clicked it by mistake. Whoops. Um, robot upkeep minus ten percent. Uh, it's it's just good, Dan. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's it's Whoops. very good. Don't worry. Oh, I just, I touched the ancient artifact, you know. Yeah. You just you did just rub it immediately. Right, so we've now occupied uh that that place, Dan. So um we can now um we can now head out. Um so let's move on to the next system, which I guess is Rock Rock Fling and down to Ook Ak. Yeah, I'll just send them on. I'm just gonna work on getting the next army together as well. Oh, pirates. Where enough are they? Uh, Dan, we have some pirates back where you built that new fleet of yours. 
That's okay. Um, They're now 16,000 strong. Um, where are the pirates at? Way back, if you could. Oh, it's the Storm Lord's one, is it? Um, I'm not sure. It's like way where back in our empire, over in Kidurka, where you literally just had the fleet. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll just uh, pay him a visit again. I'll give him some combat experience. They'll soon be stronger than the main fighting fleet. Lovely. Uh, we'll make our way onto. So it's kind of like a dead end here. Dan, we can now um, we can now set up our. Ooh. Many of the plants of Hellish Tuesday have turned, have turned to genetic modification. Okay, that's fine. Some of our empires are changing. That's okay. Um, that's all right. It happens. We can we can add a new a new ability to our government. Would you like um, military? A new military bonus. Would you like um, Crusader Spirit? Military. Okay, Crusader Spirit it is. Reform the government. That means even more power. So one of our planets has low stability. That's just because it's been invaded by pirates. I've fine. noticed that they've had two rebellions in their in their nation, Dan. That's all right. That's all right. We're doing. We're getting there. It just helps us. There is now the Space American Interstellar, and then the one that we're currently at war with and currently occupying all of their systems. I don't know if they have any planets left, Dan. <laughs> they not. I can't see any. Any of their planets? Where could they be? Oh, is it in... Una no. Solar flare? no. Where on earth could they be? I'm just, I'm just like invading some of their extra spots at this point. Okay. Um, uh, I'm running out of places to invade. Yeah, I'm not too sure where their empire now is. Where is their empire? Okay, the reformists are getting tech. more grumpy. That's amazing. Uh, the pirates have been dealt with. Back to Kendall. We'll uh, merge them together. Uh, let's get another battleship. Fuck it. Um, Ask them. Well, they haven't joined. They aren't joined the call in a while. <laughs> they haven't. No, they haven't. We've kind of just taken it over. Okay, I fifteen. There's fifteen thousand minerals. What if I just get? A third army. Um, uh, Dan, we don't need. We don't need. Dan, we already have a third army. So, like, well, sorry, fourth army. I think we should probably petition them for peace, right? Why, why do we need to achieve war goals? What are we missing? Uh, minus twenty-eight. Oh, acceptance. hang on, the game crashed for me. Oh no. Oh, it did. Okay, right. I'll pause. I'll pause quickly. Oh, you no. okay? You. Yeah, what happened? You might need to rejoin. Um, but that should be not too challenging. It has hot join. Okay, hang on one sec. Okay. Yeah, it just crashed for me. I don't know why. Hang on. Cool. I didn't, I didn't like the prospect of that uh, additional army. Yeah, maybe maybe army number five was not needed, Dan, but each to their own. Uh, okay. Yeah, let me get my Give me one second. It's okay. You have your second. Do, 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 do. Just rejoining. Maybe six armies are too much. Dan, I, I, we're, I, I, Dan arguably... you've, you've thrown us over the uh, the naval capacity limit again. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about that. Like, I already upped it to you, for you by like 80 more capacity. You didn't need to do more. Oh my god. I, well, I, like, what if we just have more military? Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to leave this call, Dan, and you leave the call as well, and we're going to call again, and hopefully they'll come yeah. in, and we can negotiate this peace treaty. Sure. Let's hop back in. There we go. Uh, shout out to uh, poor Jonathan from Paradox. We love you, Jonathan. Ooh, we love you, like, Jonathan. Ooh, ooh. Hello. <laughs> You've had to hang up. Hello. Um, I've got I've got some questions, guys. Uh, your society I, I, appears I, to have regressed a bit. Regressed a bit. Strong. Uh, what? Well, we wanted to ask. What are your war goals? Uh, I would just like Complete to achieve the war goals. Basically, you become a, a subject state to us. Um, so I've sent the, those offers off. How would you like to join the Good Friday Agreement? 
Um, will we be your vassal or will we be a I symbol? already did it. That's I already it's did already it. been accepted. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, why did you... oh, that was easy. I have a question. Where is your final planet and why did your entire empire fall apart? <laughs> we... We would you like our role play answer, or would you like our real answer? No, yeah. We oh, hit me, hit me a, with role play. Hit me with role play. We adopted a um a scorched earth strategy. Okay. Um and started demolishing everything. Okay. May I ask you a question? The... <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Keep going. We put down our lasers and our nuclear bombs and our hand grenades. And picked up sticks and rocks and used them to dismantle the establishment that had caused us so much pain. What? Did you have a communist revolution? Upon what are your requesting well, to monkey, what are your war we realized that's the only way to be happy. Uh, so you've regressed to monkey. Okay, so that's your RP explanation. What is the real answer? No, no, we're not done yet. We're not done we're, yet. There's done, more. There's, there's more. more. That was only the beginning of it. Okay, sorry. That's right. Though. I'm sat comfortably. Hit me with the rest. So what was your war goal? Now you, I can't see my civilization anymore. But what is our, what is our um, philosophical alignment? Excuse me. What was yours? Um, well, our, our new war goal was to annex you and make you a vassal, which is what we've achieved. So we vassalized you and your existing vassal into Sorry, our we, hang on. Uh, excuse Can me I, I didn't ask I, about you I objection. asked about us I want okay. to propose we some new linguistics mm -hmm. we prefer the term vaseline vaseline okay right vaseline you vaseline we prostrate ourselves that. smeared in vaseline right at, at, in front of your council right how do you respond I respond with, um, I mean, I can tell you what our, my, the Emperor would do. The Emperor is currently 108 years old and has recently killed off half of his advising body for fears that they're plotting a coup against him. So I would, I would probably ask one of you to kill the other in order to display your like your true loyalty yeah, yeah. He, so he he's not able to trust you both anymore yeah you know? like, he's probably going to kill me at some point too uh, he's, he's really losing his marbles it, it will yeah, it will I, happen I eventually someone killed my son um i'm really upset they they killed my child so um hazel ambiguous amphibian uh who w would you kill the other yeah, our war goals were different from the start. We we didn't actually lose because we were egalitarian. And um, uh, what was the next part of this? So, well, a on paper, it would look like that half of our empire revolted and separated and now is preventing you from getting to our final remaining planet. Uh, no, no, because you're our vassal now. So we are, we now have total control over you. And apparently a giant triumph across the Empire has just happened. Yeah, we just um, got oh, wait, um, hang on a second. Before we get to that, um, our vassal, is that now your vassal? Because our vassal hated us for about the last 15 years. Well, that's just because your vassal overtook you. Allegedly sending us food. Yes, yeah, your vassal overtook you, so they are now my vassal. Um, <laughs> they, were, okay. they were essentially, for the last, you know, however many decades... Airdropping energy credits, minerals, food, and uh, co commercial goods onto Stone Age planets. Oh, God. So our goal, I will remind you for our civilization, mm -hmm. was egalitarianism. And we wished that the whole universe be united, but in what fashion it mattered not. So now we are... Um, uh, what was I going to say next? We are... <laughs> Um, that's gonna that's a great admiral philosophy to have and like discuss when you're working in the mines you know like you really yeah. gotta you're gonna it. yeah keep that chip of spirit up because it, yeah. it doesn't last that's what long. we want to see yeah. yeah well when we when we saw that it was inevitable that we would be um overtaken let's say we decided <laughs> to um change our rather edit our goals yes and um we may or may not have destroyed and dismantled all of the industries on our main city and caused them to revolt <laughs> Uh, we destroyed all of the buildings on the main planet, oh, no. uh, and now there's nothing left for you to have. And now we're your vassal, we will, so we can. We will be a it. very problematic vassal. Um, you only I have one planet. You have <laughs> one planet, and don't worry, we've been dealing with societal problems and and rebellions for quite a while now. We know the solution. It is just to kill and purge everything, and it's worked. 
Is that really victory? Yes. Yes, it is. Is it, is it really victory? I, I, I think, it, yes, it actually is. Okay, let me, let me quickly, <laughs> let me just quickly pull my chat there. Um, no, no, hang on. Is, now. this isn't fair. Is, this is it a captive audience. victory? Uh, uh, yes. Seeking an alibi, no. seeking an alibi. Mm -hmm. Unacceptable. Well, you go ahead and do your, do your poll. I, do my poll. Like. It matters. It matters. Of course it does. Um, Alexander the Great had a large empire that also fell apart, and it was after he died. How old is your ruler, if I my, may ask? My ruler is 103, and due to genetic enhancements our nation has made, he should live to the ripe old age of 250. So he's, he's actually about, he's middle age. Yeah, he's, he's not even quite middle age yet. He's very spring. Well, President right, Burger I'm King Henry VIII. That, that's kind of cool. Like I didn't anticipate that. Uh, we lost. Yeah. Uh, well, it's nice well, going. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very good fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was a great game. Uh, that was great. We Ironically, had, like, so you were trying militaries. to combine. Oh, sorry. No, I was like, I, I, so towards the end there, like we were just like, I, I was just like investing heavily in military the entire time, like like much just this lament. You have, have no like, idea. Sixty thousand power in military, or like just shy of it. Yeah, like I, we had a naval cap of hundred and thirty at the start of the war, and then Dan pushed, uh, like went two hundred ships over that, and I was like, fine, I'll increase it, and then he went over it again, and I'm like, yeah. so Dan, why? Dan's logic is like, we have enough alloys, we might as well build more menacing corvettes, like, why not? Well, what do you what need, we them need them for? We don't, we, need they, were, they were useless, Dan. By the time they invaded his empire, his, he crumbled, his fleet had disbanded. Oh my god. Well, I love how you say his, not there. Sorry, there. <laughs> oh no. I'm sure, I'm I sure was AA was helping. <laughs> Oh no, oh, I got, uh, Hazor, well, it was a 2v1 because Hazor really, um, I am not a very easy teammate. <laughs> I will say, I, whenever I play- Although it was on character, and now I have yeah. everything I need to orchestrate the British-American alliance, which now ironically has turned into essentially, uh, you're basically the UK, you have too many vassals and colonies, so- uh, you no know, one. like it's, now it's actually, this is Northern Ireland as right. our empire, right? Um, I mean, actually, I, I will say that now that we've hit the end of the stream and I have executive control as the emperor empire, I am actually able to rename our empire to what it truly was the entire time. <laughs> the oh. British Empire! You've oh, been debated, you fools! You fools! Oh, damn it. Yes, the Brits have won! This is how the trouble started! The Brits have won! This is how it okay. started. Get Which fucked. Which one is the imposter? The... I'm going to rename our empire as well to Rock Hoarders. Rock Hoarders. <laughs> Rock Hoarders. Yes, return to Monkey. But which one was the imposter? Uh, Dad? United States of Space America or the British Empire? Uh, Dad, I, I think we can all agree it was uh, the, the United States of Space America, I'm afraid. But... You're gone. God save the king. God save, save the king. Uh, save complete king. this in a game of Among Us soon. Say, please say God save the king. I refuse. Please, 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 thank you. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you. Can you save God? Save the God president? God save the king. God save the king. Dan? Dan? God save, God save the king? Very well. Uh... <laughs> the queen. <laughs> it's gonna be oh, quiet. God. I will say that for like pretty much the entire last section there, uh, I was like, Dan, I might have to accidentally purge you from the government. And Dan's response was, well, I control the entirety of the military. Which is true. Yeah. I am That's fucked. <laughs> Oh, did you guys take separate roles? Yeah, Dan. I, I, I was mostly yeah. on military. Dan basically. I'm curious to see what happened to the ship a lot of the game. Yeah. Like, like, Dan actually micromanaged all of the expansion of the Empire's borders. I did I did one system, maybe. Um, yeah, so seriously, well played, Dan. You did an amazing game. Thank you. That was good fun. Uh, oh, no. Good job, like Hasbro, and uh, <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye Take care, everyone. gang. Goodbye, bye, everyone. Chat. We can end this. We can end the stream now. Yeah, we're having up there. Yeah, it's been yeah. good fun. Take care. Very good. Farewell, everyone. Farewell. Oh, my stream.